Hey, chat, what's up? If the stream turns off suddenly, it's because, uh, I might just lose power. Because God knows if even a slight gust of wind happens on my property, uh, my power goes out for seven to eight hours. So, yeah, there you go. And frankly, I hope it does. Because then I get a day off. All right, you know what? Frankly, frankly, I hope it fucking does. I hope the power goes out. I hope that my infrastructure literally can't handle the most basic parts of nature. I pray to God, all right, that, that, that something comes and smites my, my electrical wiring right now. Okay. But that is seven to eight hours of doing nothing wrong. It's called sleeping, which is this new thing I'm willing to do during those seven to eight hours. Also, second point, I own a Steam Deck and a Switch, and both of them are now fully charged. So you're wrong again, gamer. You're wrong again, motherfucker. And I can go outside and like, I don't know, scavenge for food. Didn't think about that one, did you, you fucking bozo? You're a fool. You're a fool. In the storm? Lightning never strikes, all right? Lightning wouldn't dare strike me. It wouldn't dare. Besides, I don't, I, I, I don't go outside ever without a Faraday suit. I literally won't do it. I always wear one of those like big metal cages all around my body. I don't go outside without a... Uh, Without one of those cage helmets, not unlike the creature, that man from Bloodborne that ran around while you chased him around his scary mansion. I always walk around with some kind of Faraday cage or some kind of, some kind of protection. Okay? I'm not a fool. Just like Mikolash in many ways. I too. I too can raise my hands into the sky and summon 20 to 30,000 bolts of concentrated light to kill my enemies. I just don't do it very often. Okay. And I could, all right? It's not that, it's not that it takes a lot of energy out of me to do that. It's just I don't, I just really don't feel like it. Do it now. There's no one here to attack. The the move needs a target or it explodes above my head and kills me. So, uh... I would need a target. Also, for people asking where the slug is, I feel like you guys aren't following the lore of the channel because I fucking literally killed them on stream. So then I actually deleted the picture out of the thing. It's gone. It's gone. We're moving on to a new bit. It's time for some new it's time for some new creatures in this in this stream, you know? It's time for some new creatures. We've seen this creature. I've had enough of that creature. I want new creatures. What about Grandpa? Who? Who? What? Who? What about Grandpa? What about Grandpa? Moving on to new things, Chet. New experiences, new characters, new pictures. All right? I don't even know who you're talking about. Okay? I don't even know who you're talking about. And I'm not even sleep deprived today. And today I feel fine physically. I have no excuse other than simply not caring. Okay? I just don't care. 
This is the most cryptic title. What about it is cryptic? <laughs> Hang on. What about what about this title is possibly cryptic to you? Professional squalor core vagrant eats chipmunks in the woods. Every single part of that can be casually deconstructed to exactly what it means. Squalor core, meaning to live in squalor. By choice. Vagrant. Vagrant. You know the word. Eats chipmunks in the woods. I don't think that's exactly... I don't think that's exactly hard to interpret either. I don't think that's hard to interpret. Hearing thunder again. Oh no. Oh no. Just a hell of a title. Yeah, I mean, I try my hardest out here. I try my hardest. Some people just post in their title, I'm streaming, smile, as their title, and they'll do that for about three weeks straight. I, I, I try my best. I've never added a red circle onto my title. I'm not looking at anyone in particular when I say that. I'm just saying I've never added a red circle to my title. Not once, and I may never. Despite the fact I know it would benefit me greatly to do that. It would. I would make so much money if I did that, but I won't. What about black circle instead? You mean upscaled period mark? I mean, I could. I don't think it would change anything. Just put in a tomato emoji. I mean, I technically, you know, technically chat, unlike many streamers, I do have I actually do have that option and no one would ever be like, hey, it's weird that you include that every time. It's literally not clickbait because it is my brand. I have a built-in red circle. Matter of fact, I'm just about the only streamer that should be using that. Hold on, wait a minute. Everyone's been stepping into my scene. That's my scene. Dude, I just found out today I'm allowed now to live stream my stream simultaneously on TikTok. I found out I'm allowed to stream it now. I'm allowed to live stream now on TikTok at the same time as Twitch. But not YouTube, only TikTok. I'm allowed to do TikTok. I physically cringe? Dude, chat. What's cringy about me gaming the system? Okay, what's cringy about me gaming the system effortlessly by basically firing random shots into the void? You know, what's cringe about that? What's cringe about fucking getting on that, getting on that grind, as, as you all say, you know? Nothing, but TikTok is cringy. Well, here's the thing. Here's my logic. And I'm not saying I'm gonna do it because I'm lazy. And really, that's the big, that's the big, that's the big issue almost every time anything happens, is that I'm kind of lazy. But, um, I don't have to care about the service or platform to simply hook it into a tool that automatically restreams my content to it. I lit it's the most hands-off shit ever. It's even more hands-off than just simply like asking someone else to post clips of mine on my channel for me. I literally don't ever have I I may I would never even know if it was actually getting sent to the platform. I literally might as well. 
TikTok isn't cringe, it's just malicious. I mean, yeah, that's like, to drop all the goofs and stuff, that's actually the main reason I have never like gotten anywhere near TikTok with like a fucking 10 foot pole is like all like the weird like information collection shit just makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Like, tr like truly just flat out makes me uncomfortable. It's like exclusively that. It's like nothing else but that. Give us your info now! Now, Madge! Yeah. Dude, I keep having this situation happen where I go to sleep, and I wake up like two hours before I'm supposed to wake up, and I'm wired. Like, I'm getting like five hours of sleep, and then I'm wired at five hours of sleep. But then I choose to try to force myself to go back to sleep for another two hours because I want two more hours of sleep. And then I wake up tired instead. That's the anxiety. I'm not anxious about anything lately. Like, I'm pretty good. Chat, I'm pretty good. I've been, I've been doing pretty good. Like, I'm not anxious about anything. I don't, I don't know. Anxiety presents itself in a lot of different ways. Chad, it's okay for you to say like, oh, you might be anxious, but when, listen, when you guys start wording it like you're a fucking therapist holding a clipboard at the other side of like a sofa staring at me, you're starting to wig me out a little. You start, it's starting to wig me out a little bit. I don't know. You're dying. I'm not anxious. Although I have had, oh. I have been drinking a lot of caffeine lately. Because I'm only getting like five hours of actual sleep and then two hours of immediate after sleep napping, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly living on five hours of sleep, two hours of naps immediately following the sleep. Cause those, that doesn't count as sleeping if you wake up and you're wired for like 30 minutes and force yourself to go back to sleep, right? That's not sleeping anymore. That's a nap. That's a nap immediately after a sleep. I don't know what's been up with me on that. You know what I think it is? I think it's PoE, dude. I've been back playing PoE. I'm back into the, I'm back into the grind. I'm back out there. I'm out there. I'm out there. Stone shard, more like stone shart. I have zero opinions of this game. Let me be clear about some things. First of all, I saw Benji playing it and he was really enjoying himself and he looks like he's having a really good time. And I trust Benji's takes on games a lot because he and I share a lot of the same opinions on games. Uh, and when I looked at a lot of the reviews for this game, I passed on it when it first came out because I knew it was an early access RPG and those make me want to die on launch of early access. But it's had a lot of patches since then, enough so that while it's not finished, I've never played it. So it's all new content to me. Um, however, I know a lot of the negative reviews of this game are based off of the difficulty. My guy, I just finished last week off of CDDA. You can't throw difficulty at me and get me to complain about it. Like that, I'm not, that's zero issue to me. I, that, I do not care. Like, ooh, it's got a bad save system. I don't care. I don't care, dude. I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. Stone Shard isn't actually that hard, just slow and harsh save system. I feel like people that complain about slowness in games that are single player don't know Cheat Engine exists. And I feel bad for them. Because yeah, it's a valid complaint on the game if it's too slow and feels bad. Because you shouldn't have to add another tool on top of it. But like, if it's got like things that are making the pacing slow, you really do have the choice to make parts of it faster in between the things you care about, you know? But I'm only speaking off of stuff, uh, like assumptions. I haven't played the game enough. I've only played, like, I played the tutorial just to figure out, like, if I actually like the gameplay. So, maybe I'll hate its guts. Maybe I'll too. Maybe I too will add a negative review to this game. 
but I don't think so. I, I think this will end up being something I personally enjoy, because I'm a sicko. Uh, everything from looking at it makes, like, tells me, oh yeah, this is a game I will enjoy. I don't know if I'll love it, but I know it'll at least be something that kind of lands on my preferences for games. You know? Hey, Tomato, quick question. How do you feel about people shipping your D&D characters with someone else's? See, I have three characters. One of them is a tree. <laughs> One of them is a chat. It's not Krongo. Shut the fuck up. Shipping is not the same as some of the weirder shit I was asked back when I had a frog character. Um, one of them is a tree, one of them is a slime creature. I would argue the slime is technically genderless, even though I always autopilot because of my own brain chemistry to my son when talking to my own offspring on that character, though I would say that I interpret them as technically a genderless being, even though my brain doesn't always autopilot that way when I talk about them. Uh, Willoughby has, I would say, zero interest in anything. <laughs> Clert is a snack, says chat. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I would say Clert was totally undesirable. <laughs> I would describe Clert as undesirable. Uh, maybe even... Maybe even something to avoid. And there's Adelward, who I don't think, truly, I do not think Adelward gives a single shit about anything around him other than combat. As far as like, I don't, I don't think he has the capacity to let anyone get that close to him, ever. So, I mean, from my perspective, you can ship whoever the fuck you want with whoever you want that I play as, but I'm telling you now from my, the way I RP my characters, uh, not many of them have any actual window for that in any kind of thing. Also partially because I'm at least in character, well, as an RPer, I'm not, some of my friends in, like, RP stuff are super comfortable with, like, romantic RP in, like, D&D &D and stuff. I'm not, at least personally as a character, doing it with anyone else, including the DM, in my games. I don't personally find fun doing that or think it's, like, a compelling thing for, like, D&D. &D. For me personally, if it's someone else in my group something, doing something with someone else in the group, right on, go for it, do whatever you want. Uh, it's just not really my thing. So I don't care what you do, but like, I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna be like, oh, hell yeah, dude, reinforce it. I just don't really care. It's just not really something like I'm gonna get involved in, you know? But I hope that makes it clear because I've never actually talked on that. And I know it's something that some people do actually, are actually curious about, but yeah. Tomato hates romance. I just, it's just not my scene in RP. I got a lot of other stuff going on, and a lot of times the characters I play, personally, in my opinion, do not mesh with romance. I do not play characters that I feel like work for that dynamic at all. Like, fundamentally, uh, most of the characters I play have a lot of shit going on <laughs> where it just doesn't make sense, you know? So I don't really see that coming. Nearly all of Tomato's characters are gooey in some way. What the fuck does that mean? There's only one character that's gooey and it's the one made out of goo. There's only one. Clint was really sweaty, yeah. 
He he was sweaty. I can fix Clint. No one can fix Clint. He's dead. <laughs> he's 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 fundamentally unfixable because he's dead. Didn't you once say Clurt has a massive cock? Never. But people can interpret the cock size of Clurt however they want. Because I never talked about it. And the character's dead. So I don't care. Ever. I've never said it. Never talked about it. That said, the next character I'm playing in Joe's campaign, that's the sequel to God Forged, that Joe revealed, called Sunforge, that we're doing like next year, would possibly be the only one that's functional enough that I could even imagine them having any kind of romantic dynamic ever over the course of those two years of that next campaign. That, and I'm not I don't think I've talked about what that character who that character is But that's the only one that fundamentally isn't going to be totally busted right out the gate. I don't think <laughs> Emotionally available RP <laughs> But to be clear, I still don't find that shit very comfortable to RP and I don't RP doing things I'm not comfortable with so it's never gonna happen. I super don't do things I'm not comfortable with in RP. Cause I think that's important. That everyone everyone be comfortable in whatever it is they're doing in D&D. It's a face cam stream day. I do face cams every intro. Every single one, lately. Other than one. I love watching the Basil and Effie moments in Godforge. I think that shit's cute as hell. It's just that like, I, I don't want to do that, st that stuff myself. I've got my own, I got my own things uh, I want to do on my characters. And uh, maybe once I'm like a, a, a veteran D&D player, fucking four more years down the line, who knows, I might change my tune, but absolutely not right now, no. No, 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 no. But yeah, I'm very excited for my character in uh, Sunforged. Make no mistake, all right? I make cursed fucking characters and they will be cursed just in a different way. I'm not telling you about them. But it will be cursed. What's your favorite D&D race? I don't really have one. Uh, I'm playing up D&D to really be like, oh, wow, that race is really good or like fun or interesting. Kenku for me. Kenku sounds weird because Kenku are the ones that can't talk right. They have to like mimic things. I think I'd go way too deep into that and go crazy trying to RP that properly. I don't think I could do it. I'm a big fan of the Grung. Is it the Grungs, the ones that can jump high enough? Uh, they ju they can jump just high enough that they can kill themselves if they jump in the same spot over and over again? Because that's all I know about the Grung. They're the ones that can jump 
and then take fall damage on the landing if they jump straight up, and then do that over and over and over again until they're dead. Which is the saddest thing I've ever heard of. But if I had to say what is conceptually the most interesting race right now in D&D, &D, it would be the new multiverse hobgoblin. Or one of the newest things they added in Spelljammer. But people probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, so I'm not going to get into it. But that's to answer whoever asked that question. Spelljammer added ooze people, right? Yeah, but we're not... Brett and I decided not to... Uh, my, my class in... Well, my race in Pipe Dreamers is technically a homebrewed augment of that. So I'm not following the exact rules as written on that. And I'm missing certain things on that character sheet for like the plasmoids that they added in that book. And I will continue to not have those things. So, yeah. You doing all right, Tamat? I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm pretty much constantly sleepy right now, and I don't think I think I might be dying. I think I might be dying again. It's probably something to do with the fact that my body is now realizing it's going to be 26 in like a week, and when that happens, it's all over. That'll be it. I read in a book one time, no one survives past 26. I've been making peace with that. Oh shit, I'm 26. You're already dead and you didn't even notice. That's fucked. That's fucked. 27 is better than 26. I swear. Wrong. <laughs> you don't have to lie. You don't have to lie. That's, that's extreme copium. That's extreme copium right there. Oh, I swear it gets it gets easier. It gets easier. <sighs> nurse, nurse, please, nurse, or copium, please. I'm gonna be 28 in October. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't envy you. Couldn't be me. Your bones get harder at 27. I've never broken any bones. Chat, look. Okay, here's the, here's the difference between me and a lot of you. Okay, I, I was trained in battle, all right, as a child. I was trained in battle. My bones got really hard really fast because people kept hitting me all the time in battle. In, and I don't mean like people kept hitting me in like a, in like in battle all right i was i was battling people i was constantly in combat <clears throat> so so all right i never broke any bones i jammed a lot of like bones and joints god knows god knows at some points doctors were like i can't believe this didn't break how did this honestly it's worse that it didn't break because it's all fucking messed up now over here Karate isn't combat, tomato. Motherfucker. When you're like 60 pounds lighter than like the adults in the class that are wailing on you at full strength, it is fucking combat. It is fucking combat at that point. At this point, it's no longer training. It's fighting for your life. Okay? When you're getting hit and you fly away like Goku just punched you because he was mad at you. All right? 
We are not the same. That's called building character. <clears throat> if, I mean, it built my character. I, my character got built quick, okay? But what also got built was my calcium, like, concentration in my bones. They got really strong. They got really strong because I had to. I never broke anything. I still never broken anything. And honestly, like, here's the thing. Breaking something as a kid was like, oh, cool. I don't have to go to, like, school for a bit. Maybe, and, like, people do stuff for me. But as an adult, it's like, if I break my fucking arm, holy shit, what am I going to do? Like, what, if I break my, like, arms, what am I going to do now? Now I'm fucked. Now I'm fucked. So I sure hope my bones remain as strong as they are. Game with feet? I could. I could. I could. I could. Here's the thing. Keyboard, not so much. But mouse? I could probably do that. I, could, I actually do think I could. I think mouse I could do. With like a foot. Because it's wireless. I could wirelessly use my mouse on the ground. But like, the keyboard, no. I'd have to do that with my hand. Controller, though? Okay, Jay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've basically played Dark Souls with one hand. Uh, and I'm saying- And I'm saying that because for some reason, my brain, at certain points in, like, my teenage life while playing Dark Souls, hated where the sprint button was, like how you had to hold the, uh, like, the circle button on your PlayStation controller. So I was just like, I don't like this. I'm going to make some weird fucking new format with my hands to play this game so I can hold the button down properly and like control it. I could totally play with like one hand and one foot pretty much any game. Next time I ever play a, a Souls game, let me show, let me, I'll have my webcam like plugged in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Cause I did like some weird stuff for like my control format in Dark Souls. I don't, I, I'm a gamer. Oh yeah, Dark Souls is 10 years old. It sure is. <laughs> Although technically I, I used that format as well for Demon Souls before it. Wait, is Stone Shard playable now? My friend, it's always been playable. You're just not good at it. Oh, that was actually mean because I haven't played that much of the game, but I'm going to assume most people that complain or don't like the difficulty, so I'm allowed to take jabs at them. Until I also don't like the difficulty, and then you're allowed to take jabs at me. See, it's kind of like trading off. Mean. Look, to be honest, my biggest pet peeve on Twitch, in Twitch chat, is when people ever come into the chat and take a heaving dump, or even like a slight fart on the game I'm playing before I'm about to play it, or imply that it's bad, before I even have the chance to formulate an opinion of myself. Uh, that shit drives me fucking crazy, and usually it's like 8 to 10 or 20 to 50 people all doing it, so... Sorry if I don't receive those messages super positively 24-7, but uh... It gets a little overwhelming, eventually. This game. This one, I'm sorry, it's okay. I shouldn't have taken that swing at you. I actually felt bad after I said it. Uh, but um, yeah, nah, usually. There, you get, when you play a game that has mixed opinions on Steam, people will just come in and be like, I hate this game, and you're going to hate this game. I hate its guts. Fucking hell, you're gonna despise this one. And I'm like, sitting here, like, about to turn it on. <laughs> and people are like, you, you better hate this game. 
Because I hated this game. I'm like, Ugh. Bro, you gotta refund it, dude. You don't know what you did, dude. I'm trying to save you money, dude. You gotta get out, dude. And it usually wouldn't drive me crazy if it wasn't usually the fact that, like, I... I'm very careful with the games I pick for stream. And I'm, at this point, years into streaming professionally, and I'm pretty good at... There's, it's rare that I turn off a stream and I say, I fucking hate that game. Bye, everyone. I've got a pretty good track record of liking the games I play on stream lately. So, um... It's never, it never makes me very... It's, it never makes me very happy when... People come in and try to sway me in the other direction. You know? Unless it's Noida. You can say you hate Noida. Don't worry, I hate Noida. We all hate Noida. I agree. It's bad. It's shit. Fuck that game. You can say whatever you want about that one. I won't help. I won't defend it. I'm just happy to be here. Pick a fucking side. Pick a fucking side, you coward. God, you piss me off. Look at you. Pathetic. The art and music in Stone Shard is truly stellar. Yeah, I know, I've seen it. I, uh, I'm honestly excited to play this. Even though I know it's, uh, people have opinions on it. I'll see what my opinions are after a couple hours. I'm sorry, I'm not mad at you! I'm not mad at you! You just so- you just unfortunately had to be the jumping point for my response to many people who have said things far stronger than what you said. I am not tar- I truly am not upset at you whatsoever. <laughs> Please understand. Finish him. What's your opinion so far? Game looks kind of fucking doo-doo poo-poo garbage. If I had to be honest. How much this game fucking cost me? How much this game fucking cost me? $25? I could have bought five burgers with that money. I could be bulking right now on burgers, but instead I'm playing fucking Stone Shard. More like stone shart. <laughs> God, Gamescom was bad. Dude, this is why I love doing these. This is why I love doing streams. Right about m starting midway between like a fucking convention, like any kind of press thing. Cause people come in and they, and they say what I know, which is this sucked. And even if it didn't suck, people, someone will always come in and be like, bro, you should have seen it, dude. And, I'm, and I get to remind them that I, I don't look at, I don't watch these shows. They mean nothing to me. I learned, I learned years ago not to be excited for anything and not to observe new games that are still in development because none of it means anything. You're being marketed to. You're being marketed too hard. And if that's what you want, so be it. More power to you. But I will never, ever, ever partake again. Not after I watched Forza Horizon 2 as a car screamed by another car and had a chat pop up say, I'm on Mixer Smiley Face. Live on E3. That was the moment I was like, oh, yup. Yeah. This place is done. All of it's done. It's over. I'm on Mixer. 
Where? Where? That aged where? I'm sorry. Where are you? Huh? Uh? What's Mixer? You see, here's the thing is some of you say that sarcastically and some of you truly don't know. I feel like that we're reaching the curve now where some of you truly don't know what Mixer is. Like, st times have changed. It's, a di it's another era. We're in a different era now. Imagine having a Mixer partnership. Dude, imagine signing an exclusivity contract with Mixer. I mean, technically those people made uh, so much bank that they technically don't have to work anymore, so... A little jealous. Would have been... Would have been cool, Mixer! Would have been cool! They made out... Dude, here's the thing. You can pick... Aged Samurai made it out fine. Okay, because here's the thing, Chad. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Think about it. The worst case for those people taking that deal with Mixer was that Mixer continued to live on life support for another, like, four years, officially killing their careers. But instead, Mixer paid them millions of dollars and then took two steps, like, backwards, stepped on a bear trap, screamed, fell over, and their head landed on another bear trap, killing them instantly. Okay? So Mixer died instantly, pretty much the second after it exchanged the fund. Okay. And then they got to just be, they got to keep the money and go back to Twitch. Think about making that much, like getting that much money and then you don't even have to do it. The only way I would sign a deal like that with anyone is if I was convinced there was a chance that they might not exist in two years. Cause like signing a fucking exclusivity deal with Facebook gaming is truly like shooting yourself in the head for money. Like I sure hope you're getting paid enough that you never have to do anything again at that point. But if you're signing with a place that doesn't look like they'll exist in a couple years, you might actually make a good deal. You gotta hope they pull a mixer and they stop existing. Because then you get the best of both worlds. You get the money and you get to double back. Google Stadium moment. Yeah. I'd follow you to Facebook, oh fruit father. First of all, don't like that. Don't like that second thing. But second, uh... I don't even know how the fuck Facebook works anymore. Like, here's the thing. I don't know any one of my friends. Like, I don't know anyone even, because I know none of my friends ever have. But I don't know anyone that's streamed on Facebook gaming. And any, like, streamer who got like signed with Facebook gaming off of Twitch truly I believe disappears like I I've never heard of them since ever like the, poof they're gone like dust like I don't think you can I don't know if you can like you can come back you can come back, but I don't think you can continue to build a platform on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like, the, 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 the systems simply aren't there. You know? Oh, sorry. Meta. Is it Facebook or is it Meta now? Is it, did they change it completely? Is it Facebook? I don't even know anymore. I'm gonna keep calling it Facebook. I'm gonna keep calling it Facebook forever. Okay. It's Facebook owned by Meta. Fucking hate that shit. It's actually 
listen. They the second they realized that their brand was so poisonous that the second they changed the name to Meta, nothing changed, and everyone kept calling them Facebook and and like laughing about Zuckerberg. They should have just doubled back and been like, okay, we tried. Fuck it. We'll just stay Facebook. Cause, like, you're not fooling anyone. Like, I don't, I don't know why they changed the name. Like, it didn't achieve anything. I'm not sure what the fuck the point was. Cancel this guy. <laughs> Get him. Ah, my neck, my poor neck. What do you mean that bottle of barbecue sauce on Zuck's shelf was so relatable? What the fuck are you talking about? Mark, is this something I'll just find? Why is it that when I type in Mark Zuckerberg B, it auto-completes the barbecue sauce? <laughs> I have not seen this picture. What the fuck is this? I think I might be the only one who hasn't seen this. Mark? Mark, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is... What the fuck, Mark? Mark. Mark, is that, that's just barbecue sauce. That's just, that's just, that's just sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. How did this get past me? And that's just, that, I guarantee you, Chet. I guarantee you look up that picture of that dog, like reverse image search. You will find that it's like a fucking, like it's a, it's a stock photo of a dog. I guarantee that it exists elsewhere. That looks like Squalor's dream to me. That looks like Squalor. I mean, here's the thing, chat, chat, I'm going to be fair about something. I'm going to be fair about something here, okay? Many of the things on my bookshelf do not belong on a bookshelf, okay? Many of the things on my bookshelf shouldn't be on a bookshelf, but they are next to books. Okay? So I get it. I don't know if condiments are where I'm gonna go with it, but I'm gonna be fair to Zuck. It's not the worst thing in his situation right now. You know? It's just not, it's not the worst thing. The worst thing is that for some reason he, despite confirming that he knows how bookshelves work, he uh, continues to stack them like a savage. A shelf over. That's all I'm, that's what I'm going to take offense at, is the, is the fucking blatant lack of, like what the fuck is the point of making two, you have two different sections when you do it right. And then you give up? With a picture on top? I don't, I'm not, I'm closing it. I'm just saying. Also, there's bowls on one of them, but those could be decorative. Also, I have a desk fork and knife, so, and spoon. So, I mean, at the end of the day, Zuck and I are more alike than you and I are in many ways, and I relate with him. I relate with him. Why are you question marking? Why are you question marking? Show cutlery. I'm not going to do that. I don't need to. I have nothing to share with you, fools. Ah, uh, yes, you're a Silicon Valley sociopath in the making. I could make it in Silicon Valley. Maybe not as a sociopath, I don't think I'm a sociopath, but I could probably make it pretty far out there. 
I've got that natural charisma. And I can I can actually detach the smile uh, so it doesn't reach my eyes. Which I think is really important if you're going to be anywhere around Silicon Valley. you got to be able to make a smile that doesn't ever reach your eyes. <laughs> you got you gotta be able to smile with uh, with zero zero emotion in your eyes to really get there. You know, I got that business sense. The light really has to totally fade from your eyes. You know, never do that, please. I'll do it whenever the fuck I want. Now that it's power, now that I know the power it holds. Okay. I'll do it whenever I want. I will do it whenever I want. Okay? I'll do whatever it takes. It creeps me out. Well, yeah, it's not supposed to be comfortable. That's not the point of it. The point of it isn't that you're like, oh, that's a nice smile. That's nice and comforting. The point is that it makes you uncomfortable. That's the point. The famous Disco Elysium, the face. Well, I'm not gonna let you badmouth the face, cause that expression absolutely reaches the eyes, okay? The expression reaches the eyes. The expression has soul in it, like you could never understand. The face? Oh my god. I can't believe I have to open this every fucking time we bring it up. If you haven't played Disco Elysium yet, what the hell's wrong with you? I have to open this every time because you don't know the goddamn references. The expression. The expression. Now I gotta pull up in the expression. Hang on. I can open a new image. The expression. Here, I got it. The expression, which of course can mean any number of things, including superstardom. It's, it's suggestive, perhaps. A t a, insinuating, you know, vague sympathy. Like, kind of like a sad has been, you know? Oh no, he's hot. Disco Elysium guy is hot, I'm gonna be honest. Harry, Harry, he's got a look to him, dude. I would describe it as superstardom. I'd describe him as a superstar. All right? Unless you shave him. Unless you shave off his face. Uh, no, we, we don't... We don't do that. I actually... I, I, I shit you not. I know a person who in their first playthrough of Disco Elysium, and I won't out them because I refuse to. They played through the whole game with him shaved and sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. It was the worst. Like <laughs> It's it was it was the worst. It's the worst. Look at the look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let me let me, this is the last thing I'm going to pull up for Disco. Dude, I love WebP images, dude. I love WebP's. I love it when I love it when internet websites use WebP format that OBS doesn't know how to use. You have a choice in your life to hang out with bottom left for an entire game and instead you choose bottom right, dude. You have a choice to play the whole game with bottom left. And you pick bottom, right? I don't trust that kind of person. He's either got to be smiling or he has to have facial hair. Ideally, both. 
I won't allow. Okay. I won't allow it. Really large, big depression energy. Yeah. 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 True. All right, chat. It's been officially almost 60 minutes. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. When I come back, we're gonna play Stone Shard. Here be. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time to game. So I haven't played much of this game. Matter of fact, I only did the tutorial to test it. Um, I'm going to remind everyone that the mods will take you out if you uh, actively backseat the game for me and spoil it for me. Unless I ask. And I'm very happy to ask for help when I need it. And when I ask... It's okay to tell me. Uh, but until then, please shut your goddamn mouths. All right. Because I swear to God, we'll take you down. I never make it past level one, so you don't have to worry about spoilers from me. That's the spirit. Now that's the spirit. Dude, I saw a fucking post. I saw a post from one of my friends on Steam. Uh, sorry, Discord. That was uh, talking about Bannerlord. Is it true that not, like they're like ramping up to just release the game in 1.0 despite the fact they've barely added anything to that game? Because that's what I read in like the message they posted. Yes? That is so embarrassing. Why'd they release it in early access? Why didn't they just say it was a full release? If they weren't going to add anything new. Or like do anything. Like they should have just... They should have just released it in full! Oh wait, I know what it is. Because when you release it in full, you can do a second lap of promotion on Steam. Which makes it more money. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. That's money. When you do that, you can you Steam allows you to promote the game again because it's technically being released. So you get two laps. That makes sense. Okay, well, Stone Shot. We're going to do this, the the uh, prologue again so that people that don't know this game can get an idea of what it's like. Uh, and then we're going to go in. Okay? We're going to get in there. Plus, there is a story to this game. Even though I'm not sure I'm Damn gonna... It. Where am I? I'm not sure I'm gonna follow it very closely because obviously the story isn't finished. We'll probably focus on side quest stuff more or less, more so. But, uh, you know, the chance is there. You are awake. Just in time for the ritual. We'll have a use for you. So very soon. All right, man. <clears throat> All right. All right, man. Don't try anything funny or you'll end up like one of your friends. Perhaps I should check on him again. All that fresh blood. I must have drained by now. All right, goblin man. Okay. Curses. 
Doesn't look like we won that fight. Okay. I need to get out of here before this bastard returns. Hmm. Looks like my shackles are rusted to the core. The voice acting is really good in these parts. I know the whole game is in voice acted, though. All right, let's get these shackles off. You, you can just take them off. Uh, yep, I win. I've escaped. I've officially broken out of the prison. Poor Locke. Your bad feeling was spot on. Chat, they were time. rusty. They were rusty. Sight and OMFG, thank you for the five gifted subs. Very kind. They didn't search him. Bad move. No offense, buddy. But you won't need all these things anymore. Sorry, buddy, but I'm gonna be taking all this stuff. Such as your water bottle, your loaf of bread. Can you rotate in this game? I don't need to know. No. Okay. Doesn't look like it. And they forgot to loot his lock picks. <clears throat> they forgot to loot his lock picks. The 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 cultists are like keeping us in a prison cell forgot to loot his lock picks. They're cultists, not geniuses, true. Well, state your hunger and thirst. I am hungry. Sippy of water. Whole loaf of bread. I'm locked in. I'm gonna use the lock pick now. Pick. I'm out. We're in the clear. Alright. I hope I'm not alone, survivor. Got to arm myself and find the rest. Alright, well, I have an iron bar. I guess that works as a. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look around. A fully cooked carp. Uh, I'm actually gonna check these cages. One of these corpses might have something valuable on them. Who knows? What have we here? Absolutely nothing of value. Okay, well, I look like a real fool now. There was nothing in any of these. We're getting the hell out of here. The cages are unlocked, and blood trails are fresh. Looks like everyone was taken somewhere. I see, I see. I see. Seems like I was the only one to be left in the dungeon. That's strange. I see. I see. It all makes sense now. <clears throat> what was that? Fumbled? Fumbles. The chance to deal halved damage with attacks. Ah. Hang on. I'm guessing one of these helps. All right, agility is the best stat in the game. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna pump agility on this character. Uh, I don't. Strength is gonna boost your base damage, but it doesn't matter if you hit for half. So we're just gonna boost agility and skip strength, because apparently Dex build is the best in the game. Yeah, that's right, chat. That's right, I'll dex build. In the game that people are saying is as hard as this one is, I'll fucking dex build if it seems like it's gonna be the best stat. I will. Oh, a golden unidentified ring. Now, the fact that it's unidentified confirms to me that it can be cursed. I know this. I played Barony. I can't, I can't take it off. I can't take it off. I can't, it was cursed. It was cursed. Oh well, this is a tutorial. I don't have to win this to continue. How did you get out? You are dead. Okay, dude, calm down. Take it easy. He actually didn't know I was there. He, he yelled it, but he's not going to dare approach just yet. Now he's approaching towards the radish. All right, man. You go ahead and approach. You come closer, and then I'll take you down. I will dispatch you casually with my cursed ring. 13 to hit. 
I replenished one health. Ooh, does this ring perhaps give me restoration? I wonder what the curse is on it then. Because that sounds like a pretty good ring. Maybe it's like vampirism or something on it. Either way, I'd need to identify it on my finger. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Not much more for us right now. Burn. Bled to death. Such a foolish way to go. Ring of fumbling. Looks like Dex there is build. a trap. I have to take a look around unless I want to share his fate. You'll often encounter hidden traps. Oh, well, you just spoiled it for me. All right, perception check. It's also possible to reliably discover all hidden traps within your vision by using examined surroundings. This basic skill has been added to your hotbar. That seems like a helpful skill. Oh my god! I can disable this. Chance to evade, 10. Chance to disarm, 100. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just turn that off. He's dead. Fumble chance minus 1%. Because I have a belt now, so my pants aren't falling Damn. down. I forgot about my leg. Hurts more and more. Did you just remember you're injured? I need to find something to treat the wound before it festers. All right, well, I'm dying now. I guess. I guess now I'm dying. I remembered All I'm dying. All these boxes <clears throat> will surely find something in them. Well, let's take a look around these boxes, see if we can find a fully stocked medical cabinet. All right. Uh-huh. Can use this to patch up my leg. And you guys said this game was hard. And you guys said this game was hard. And you guys said this game was hard. All right, so first thing we're going to want to do is get a splint on this bad boy. Uh, which we can just... Use and bop. Fill up our right leg. Stabilized injuries retain their negative effect but no longer accumulate pain. When your body part condition is restored to a certain threshold, it will heal completely. To accelerate this process, use a healing salve. Alright. The lower your health, the higher your pain limit. Pain makes healing less effective and can even kill you, okay? To get rid of it, you can get rid of it with a variety of painkillers, an ether inhaler, for instance. Okay. I'll use it. Most painkillers are toxic and will increase your intoxication. Intoxication is detrimental to your character's condition. It's incredibly dangerous if it reaches high enough numbers. Inject an antidote to get rid of it. All right. How much intoxication is this? I'm guessing I have to do this because I feel like I don't need to right now. Like, this isn't that big of a debuff. I want to save this. That's minus 75%. What's my current? 40%. Yeah, right. Let's roll. <laughs> you call me when I'm dying, all right, motherfucker? You know, I gotta get this doublet on. And these boots. You call me when I'm dying. Not a moment before. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's see here. Fumble chance plus seven percent. Skills and energy cost. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Bop. Bop. The old dual wielding psychopath build. Pack these bow. Pa pack this bow and arrow as backup. And shield in case I feel like I they made a big mistake. The issue with this game is promising freedom of choice. We're in a tutorial. <laughs> We're in a tutorial. We're in a tutorial. It's linear because it's a tutorial. The illusion of choice! It's locked from the other side. We're not getting in that way. There's a guy there! I don't think he knows I'm here yet. No, he does. Alright, let's see how dual wielding works. <clears throat> My fumble chance should be a cool... Hang on. 26%! My guy... 
sucks at this. And I think it's because I'm currently dual wielding. Because it says uh, dual wielding negatively affects his stat. But I've got two times the weapons. Does it cost actions for me to swap my item in the middle of a fight? Where is the tutorial? It does. Well, what's my fumble chance now? 19%. Okay. A shield. I really got the shit kicked out of me there. You've just leveled up. Each new level allows you to learn a new ability and improve one of your attributes. You mostly get stronger by acquiring new abilities and finding better equipment. Attributes have less distinct effects, just slightly improving. I'm surprised this game gives you full heals on level ups. You'd think they wouldn't give you that, considering they're going for like a pretty hard game. Minus 1.5% fumble and backfire. I mean, I fumbled like three times and that guy managed to bring me to like half health. So it seems like agility is like flat out the best stat. <laughs> seems like straight up agility is probably uh, one of the best stats of these five. Unless you're trying to be a wizard. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, chat. I'm just saying. We got in here, two cupboards, full of man sheer fortified alcohol. You know we love that stuff. Here we have some kind of hourglass, and over here we have oh, a pyromantic treatise. A pyromantic treatise, Just like the good old times in the academy. Got to recall a spell or two. My guy, a wizard. So abilities are initially available for learning. To unlock them, you need to find and read the corresponding treatise or match attribute requirements listed in the abilities descriptions. Okay. So I can pick it up and then read it. Dear friend, we may not know each other, but considering that you opened this, to this tome, I'll take a wild guess and assume you're intent on learning ancient art of pyromancy, the art I've been mastering my entire life. And who asked, man? Blah, blah, blah. As you may not realize there's nothing complicated about visualizing the flames and then summoning them into existence with the sheer force of your mind, despite what my arrogant brethren may claim. When the time comes, they'll pay for all the injustices they've subjected me to. I see I skipped some lore that may have been relevant to me. For dragging my good name through the mud. Keep practicing, never stop learning, stay spirit, and remember fire always attracts fire. All right, man. Learn the fire barrage spell. Okay. Sure. Move to the next room. Sure. I'd love to do that. Fool! Fire barrage! Did I just triple crit that guy? Magic is a powerful yet unpredictable force. Be careful, casting multiple spells in quick succession puts you at risk of at least one of them backfiring, which causes you to take damage from your own magic. Backfire damage can be reduced by remaining on the same tile or skipping a turn after casting a spell. However, backfire chance and backfire damage in the magic section. Let me take a look at this. 5%? That's... Oh, no, that's my mirror. That's my chance of a miracle. Uh, back at 20%. That's not bad. That's, I could, that could be worse. I found a monastic book. Brother Irv is sick as well. It's not a cold. Someone's dying. People are dying. But I don't remember... I don't remember that being my problem. The miasma of this horrible disease now permeates the entire sanctuary. Half our brothers are delirious. Their bodies are riddled with scabs and boils. Blood is seeping through their pores. We can't do anything to ease their suffering. I declared a quarantine and ordered to lock everyone who showed signs of the disease in the catacombs. But I fear it's all- Dude. Real, real blast to morale. Deciding to lock all the sick people in the, uh, tomb. <laughs> That's, that's really not good for morale, I don't think. I don't think that's good. That's just not, that's just not good. It's convenient, though. I mean, yeah, but if, like, I got, like, a really nasty cold and someone was like, I'm gonna need you to stand over there, and they point it to an open grave, I, 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 I don't know 
how happy that would make me. I don't think I'd feel comfortable around them anymore. I'm standing over there. It's a morgue bed. It's like one of those cabinets. Take a look around. We got more diary pages. So I don't need this. I don't need page one. Today, the entire neighborhood gathered around our monastery. The healer had brought the disease back to Manshire. Blood was leaking from their eyes. They were hopelessly sick. I prohibited anyone to go outside. Then they tried to break in. A few brothers lost their lives, but we managed to push them back from the gates. When the crazed crowd tried to burn us alive along with the building, I had to break the quarantine and bring even the healthy brothers into the catacombs. Truly out of the frying pan and into the fire. Yeah. I hope that's not still happening. Geomantic trees. I guess I'll read it. Blah, 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 blah. Learning geomancy. I don't... These are now garbage to me. Oh, wait. No, they sell. Well, this is all a tutorial. I don't think I get to selling the stuff on this character, but I'll take it with the intention of possibly selling. An identification scroll! We need this. What is it? All right. Curse of Enervation. 9.09% .09 energy drain. Okay. Low energy improves the bonus. Okay. It boosts some stats, but also may gives me some problems. Uh, killing enemies temporarily reduces the penalty. That's fine. You know what? It's whatever. This is a tutorial. If I die... Who cares? Oh, I can cleanse the curse. Cured. Cured, bro. I don't want the curse, dude. I just want the ring, bro. I win. I am the gamer. This diary page is covered in blood. We are doomed. In these sinister depths, even time itself flows differently. I've lost count of the days. When was the last time I left my cell? A couple hours ago? A day? A week? I may be the only one who is still alive. Every night I am haunted by visions as the candlelight fades. Shadowy figures step out from the darkness. Their wheedling whispers drive me crazy. The host is silent. The host is deaf to our prayers. The host betrayed us. All I ask is to be cured. I just want to be pure. I just need to be clean again. Did stuff stack? God, no. Of course it wouldn't. Oh, I'm going to apply... Now I'm going to put a new enchantment on this ring. Control resistance. I don't know why that would... I don't know what control is. Hang on. <coughs> Chance to avoid stun, daze, confusion, or stagger. That sounds like a really good resistance to have. Uh, in a game where you get hit for half of your health when you get hit. That sounds like a very good one. Mind control. The tutorial is complete. You are now on your own. Survive and find your way to the next floor. And remember, you are not the chosen one. Many, many enemies are just as powerful as you are. Be careful. Don't mindlessly charge your head. Don't tell me what to fucking do, more like. I hit for 24. Don't tell me what to fucking do. You push me, and I'm gonna start getting so mad. Hang on. Grants the following effect for 360 turns. Uh, a bunch of damage boost, consuming it leads to an unpleasant aftermath. How unpleasant. <laughs> That's a dungeon bat. That's one of the strongest creatures in the game. This ancient breed of giant bats once inhabited the Aldorian forest, but it was driven out into deep dungeons. I cast Fire Blast. Okay. Someone heard me. Hey. I cast Fire Blast. LOL! Does he not know I was there? Wait, did he lose me? Did that idiot get hit by two fire- like three fireballs and then go, Ugh? Ow! Ow! Oh, wait. He's tied up. I think he's tied up to something. It looks like he's tied to something. 
Hang on, so what do you do? If there's both an ally and an enemy within vision loses 3% max health each turn, upon receiving damage heals all allies within vision for 50% of health lost. You gotta die, man. Sorry, bro. I gotta get rid of you. I gotta get you out of here. You gotta go. Can't have you in the fight. All right, foolish bat. Wow, the bats really just don't have that much power, huh? Well, I'm gonna rest a couple turns and then get back to it. Oh, oh, what, is, what is that thing? It's a harbinger. She has a baleful scream. Let's out a scream, dealing seven psionic damage to its target. Don't scream at me. Oh, you. You. Ooh. Okay, well, the daze is gone. My turn. Approach if you dare. Ha! Shut! Ha! Casually dispatched in but a moment. Casually dispatched. Flawless. Dude, I'm not... Look, obviously we're in a tutorial, it's gonna be easy. But, um... I would say that Cataclysm has trained me to take... To do fights extremely fucking slow and actively eyeball every single fucking detail of every creature I ever see before I let them anywhere near me. Lacerate... So he causes bleed and he has a life drain... Strike. And, uh... uh a knockback daze. A t I don't want this guy to get near me, is what this is telling me. So we're gonna go ahead and really bully him right now. Oh, hey. Follow me! Ow! Ow! Ow, oh, fuck! Ow! Owie! Ow! My leg! My fucking leg! It's gone! I looked down and my leg's over there now! I'm fine, I'm fine. My leg's just maimed. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Everything's fine, everything's fine. I'm just gonna use another couple of these. Yep, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, maybe take a load off. Press R and rest for a while. Rest for a spell. I forgot I have to search for traps. Oh my God. I forgot I have to search for traps. Well, that, that, that put me in my place quickly. So we're gonna do that every room going forward. I don't want chains. Nothing. It's in my sight line is what it said. So I'm assuming it would cover the whole room. You dead? They weren't even dead, they were still alive. Ooh. A townsman's chest piece. Objectively worse than what I have. Ooh, a peasant's bow. Not good. Ooh, a male coif. I think physical resistance is better than a little bit more energy right now, to be honest. Ooh, herbal extract. We love herbal extract. We really do. Ooh, a mug. I don't like that, I don't want it. So people can hear me, they're question marking. I actually don't like the look of this because if one of them opens the door on their side, I will get fucking cornered by both. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Especially when one of them is a tormentor. Fireball blast. Okay, bye. Thanks for hanging out with me. Goodbye. 
Stop following me! Stop! Ow! Dispatched. Cleanly and casually. Oh. It's a bat and then an actual truly worthless creature that can't do anything. You're not alone, are you? Yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back for you, son. As soon as I'm done and taking a look around. Psychopelt. I know for a fact I don't... Oh, hello. Is that a giant rat? All right, man. All right, close the gap. Fire blast. All right. Here you go. Yeah, get him into this straight away. We're gonna blast him again. Did my guy just say the fucking uh, thing for the name and then actually drop the ball and not exactly like? Did he just like question mark the spell? Sonner. Another thing is attacking something over there. Ow! Shut! Bah! Something else is coming! Cat! Wait. This doesn't say it's disarmed. I could use this. I'm gonna rest right here. Oh my god! How do you know? Is what I'm wondering. Whatever, who cares? Just die. How does the rat know? <laughs> How does a smart fucking rat? Rats are smart? Yeah, they're also, like, horribly riddled with cancer. So, I mean, like, at the end of the day, you know, we're both losing something, all right? How rude? Look, dude. And fleas. I love rats. I'm just saying it how it is. It's not a good thing. It's just how it is. Why were they attacking this? Can I attack this? Rats are awesome. I'd get a rat if it wasn't for how tragically short their lifespans were in the grand scheme of house pets. Truly, I would. That'd be like the first pet I get. Why am I? Oh, there we go. This door. I'm getting hungry. Uh, I guess I should probably stabilize this leg wound all the way. But I just don't really want to waste any things on it. So I'll take that and I'll put one more salve on this. Let this finally heal. Do I have to use the painkillers or will it just stabilize over time if I'm if I like chill out? There we go. It just goes over time. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Recipient water. Maybe eat this white radish to deal with my hunger and maybe this carp. All right, back on the road again. Wait, there's a box over here. I mean, so far I'm liking this, but obviously I'm in a tutorial. I like my dungeon crawlers. Remember me? Fire blast! And there's more where that came from. As soon as it's... Oh, he's... Not dead yet. Now he's dead. No traps. Come, rat. Prepare to face your end. Very good. Some more health kits. And 
some van braces. I'm just gonna put on all the armor I can. Because it seems like those do. That just makes me better. Not seeing anything, but I am seeing a trap that someone stepped on. Chances this arm is 75%. Can I go up without touching it? Yeah. My inventory sucks. Nimbro Grits, thanks for the five gifted subs. So very kind. Thanks, Nimbo. I'm, I'm telling you what, chat. I feel like it's not on... I feel like it is the popular option to stack agility if you're not going magic. Because, at, like, the more I see the numbers popping up, seems like fumbling is the way you lose in this game. Is just having, like, 18 fumbles in a row and then just dying because you're doing half damage when you should be doing full. I don't think double damage... I don't think boosting your flat damage is gonna fucking matter if you're never hitting full damage. I think I'm gonna go with that. I think, gonna, I, I, think I have an idea of what I wanna make. Hope there's something of value in here. Yeah, maybe, man. Maybe. Or maybe fucking not. Blacksmith tongs. I don't think I need stuff that's like salt for money. Hello. Burn, motherfucker, burn! Hey! Goodbye. Guys, it's a pull door. You can just, oh, it's the rat, of course. You don't know about things like opening doors, you're foolish. You wouldn't dare step through the fire. You wouldn't dare. And that is why I shall escape. Wow, my character's aim really sucked right there, huh? Goodbye. Bye. I'm leaving. Don't follow me. Stop. Sixty-nine percent health remaining. Nice, nice. That's what I like to see. <laughs> so, anyways, I wonder if he sees it. Okay. I don't know why you'd ever disarm a trap if that's how they work. If that's how traps work, I'm not sure why you would ever, in your right mind, disarm one. Ever. Uh, what's this? All indoor optimism. Dude, you just stepped over someone's dead body. Chill. Bro, chill. But I guess... Alright, hang on. Agility. Up. Magic is cool, but... Uh, but look, hang on. Actually, let me see here. Uh, when a firebolt from fire barrage connects with a burning target, prolongs the burning. Ah, uh, they're never burning. I like. I would have to have more spells to even make that matter. Let me look through the. Okay, so there's a tree for all of these, huh? Okay. I think I need to, like, get a hold of a bunch of weapons. Oh, hang on, hang on. Main focus, bleeding, mobility. Injuries, bleeding. Crowd control, weakening effects, days chance. We bleeding, weakening effects. In a game of bullshit percentages, and I know this because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cataclysm boy... The more bullshit you can make a character do to make them not work is always better than flat damage. So I'm operating on the assumption that the best things are probably spears and maces. Or like bows, as far as weaponry is concerned. I don't own a mace, so probably just going to invest in what I own. I think. What about basic skills? None. <laughs> oh, hang on. Dual wield. This is what I. This is uh, dual wield and training. 
Using weaponry skills performs an attack with a weapon in the other hand. I don't have any weaponry skills. However, uh, if the equipped weapons belong to the same type, grants 5% crit chance and minus 5 fumble chance for two turns. If the equipped weapons belong to different types, grants 10% offhand efficiency, 10% counter chance. These are all very, like, meaningful levels. Uh, but considering this is a tutorial guy... Uh, it seems like the... Best thing to invest in is probably, like, just whatever weapon I currently have. So in this case, uh... The homemade sword. Because I don't have any skill moves. So we have for swords. Cleaving strike. Delivers a strike to three adjacent targets. Big dumb move. <laughs> I know. Yeah, chat. Uh, I don't know why you're not listening to the mods when they uh, tell you this, but you're going to catch timeouts and bans. Uh, so I'm going to warn you again. I didn't ask for your uh, tips. Uh, I don't want them. I, I don't know why you're ignoring them. Uh, I want to learn how to play the game and interpret what's good right now. If I want your help, I'll ask. Don't be cringe, please. I'm trying to be really... I'm trying, I'm trying my best to stay cool. I'm trying my hardest right now. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, but yeah, no, I know from CDDA, there's no fucking way getting into melee fights with three things at a time is going to pay off. So there's no fucking way this is a good move right now. Durability is lower. Or retreats a tile back. If the next turn the empty tile is occupied by an enemy performs an attack with 35 percent That's good. That's probably the best thing to make. Gives me a way to back up and retaliate. Alright, let's get the fuck out of this place. I know that's the way up, but I kind of want to see what's in here. Damn it! And I just got the sword! Well... I'll at least see what it is. Oh, it's cursed! <laughs> Forget it! So cursed weapons don't necessarily mean they're bad in this game. Because it seems like, uh, they get life drain on them, but it also drains hunger. Hello. Hi. Fire blast! Oh, you're burning, huh? Okay, so I can do that. There we go. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. Damn it! And a mace. I would have invested in maces because it seems like it's going to be better. But, I mean, again, we're in a tutorial. I probably don't even need to be doing this much exploring. The tremors are coming from upstairs. I bet everyone was taken there. I have to find my way up. Another mace. Huh? I right, we're going up another floor. Oh. Bro? It's a gambeson. Better than what I'm wearing. Kettle helmet. Mm, better than what I'm wearing. Maybe not on durability. But, no, oh, it's fine. Bread. I love bread. We're just going to ditch all this crap. What is this? Health replenishment potion. What is this? Antitoxin. Cool. My inventory is a big old mess right now. Old contract. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a read. Seventh of Bloom. With this paper, we, Barves the Elder, and every denizen of Manshire pledge to pay a bounty of 1,000 crowns to every man, be it a commoner, a mercenary, or a noble knight, who'll take the task of descending into the Abbey of, Ho of the Holy Revelation, cleanse it from the spirits or any other filth inhabiting it, and return it back safe and, s safe and sound with a proof of their deed no later than in 20 days starting from the day. From today. We hereby sign this. Cool. Will we survive the second floor? Wow. Disarmed casually. Good. 
this guy's just... This guy, I don't think this guy stands much of a chance against my power, I'm gonna be honest. He just hit himself. I like the fire effects, how it like actually like leaves some like stuff on the ground. I do like that. I like that bounce back. That's cool. All right, let me take a look. Okay, so that did... Oh, that showed me that trap, like, instantly. It just looks like room by room. You should always check for traps. I right, well, man. I'm sorry, but I'm going to... You just take... Dude, you are tied up. Taking swings at me. You think they know? Maybe. If I got it, if I was in this section and it was something from over there, perhaps. Take it easy, get our energy back. Hey. Ah! Ah! Oh. Bug out, man! Oh, uh-oh. That trajectory shows me he doesn't know. Look at you! Pathetic fuck! Look at you! You got a net thrown on you, you fool! Prepare yourself for death by my hands! I fumbled. I'll be taking this throwing net. Oh yes. If I had the inventory space. Ditch this. Ditch this. Grab it. You can't offhand a throwing net? What the fuck? I played Battle Brothers, motherfucker. I know for a fact you can offhand a throwing net. Fumble chance minus two. I mean, considering I'm guessing enemies retain the same debuffs I take when I get hit, it seems like fumble is the most dangerous and important stat in the game. Yagwam Z Kagi. What the fuck did you just say to me? I bet this guy doesn't even know his own room is full of traps. Oh, he knows. <laughs> oh, he knows. Dude, chill. Calm down. I wonder if the next guy will know. They're like speaking French at us or something, chat. They're yelling horrible things to me. Oh, this is the way up. I think I'm just gonna start rushing towards the exit, considering, uh... We're in a tutorial and none of this matters. Wait, that's the way into the church. I wanna leave. Oh, this door doesn't work. All right. What's this? A note. I know. There's some alarming news from the capital. People say that King Edward, blessed be his name, is gravely ill and has been fighting death for a week now. Perhaps it's just rumors spread by ill wishes. It's no secret that his majesty has so many of them. Nevertheless, we shall pray a host for our monarch's swift recovery. We shall pray the host. That's a weird way to word it. For our monarch's swift recovery, relate to the rest of the brothers that we will need another service tonight, Abbot Vidian. I'm thirsty. Wow, there's a lot of dead bodies in here. <laughs> wow, like this, uh... A lot of dead fucking bodies in here. Uh, pop a squat for a minute. Just a sec. Gonna lower my fatigue to bring it up any higher. But I believe my fatigue. I think I feel like I need to like take a nap. Fatigue. Uh. Oh no, it's my it's my gear. It's probably my gear. Right. Energy minus four. Energy minus three. Take that off. Yep. Hello? 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 Daryl! You are alive! Run while you can! Daryl! <laughs> no! 
Don't leave us here! Rinward! Please! Make it stop! I don't know who you are. Ah, a not invited guest. We were hoping to save you for last. But since you came here willingly... Goblin boy! <laughs> Arkin! I didn't invite- oh, he actually said it all out. So, you are the one behind all this madness. You'll pay for everything. Get ready to die, I'm a level two motherfucker. <laughs> found you. It's over. Soon both the stone shard and your souls will serve the higher purpose. You guys think I can handle this guy? Still, the court appreciates your courage. You can serve us well. I don't think I can handle this guy. I've seen a lot of dead bodies. Not this time, abomination. Well then, we show you mercy, and yet you reject our gifts. Let the ritual begin! Dude, you look like a shaved I rat. Oh my god! Okay, so he's in a bubble. He's currently in, to, performing an unholy ritual. Uh, let's see here. He has the ability to summon restless corpses. He's very dangerous. Uh, let's see here. He knows blood clot. That's deadliest move in the fucking game, I'm going to assume. And blood puddle. Okay. All right. Don't think I can... I don't want to even... I, I can't close... There's a giant fucking bubble over him. I'm not even gonna bother trying with him. What's this guy? Ritual Restless. This is equal to me. Okay, I am now keenly aware I cannot beat this guy. Destroy the statues is what my objective says. I'm not going to fuck with him. I'm gonna go after the statues. I ignore mechanics. Ow! Ow, my blood! My fucking blood! I drink my buff potion! I'm now booked up, motherfucker! Ha! Ha! Sha -sha! Ha! That blood's gotta go away or I can't do anything. Ow! I feel like that blood makes stuff bad for me. I gotta wait. Damn it. Dude, you can't keep doing that kidding me? That's- that's the most bullshit fucking thing I've ever seen, motherfucker. Either way, it looks like it kills them too. I mean, I'm gonna lose, but uh... I feel like I get this. It does hit for 30 a hit, though. I don't think I'm making it out. I heal for 18 sometimes. Oh, second win. No, not necessarily, man. Honestly, I feel like my chances are pretty much zero, considering I'm on, I'm, I'm, I'm covered in acid. Uh, it actually looks like it's over unless somehow I drank this potion, which heals me to uh, 65 HP. Live, bitch. Yeah, you just fucked up big time, dude. That was a big fuck up. That was actually a throw. What you did right there was called a throw. You just threw a second time. <laughs> he sounds like he's about to cry. <laughs> this guy just threw. Like, this was a hard throw. Although, I will be honest, chat. My survival was completely dependent on items, not my actual skill. Which sounds a lot like another game I play a lot of called Cataclysm. So I think I might just have a decent time in this because of the fact that I have I have played a game that uh, definitely, definitely is, oh, 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 ew. The host have no I gotta go. Would've. Bye.
Bye, bud. Dude, I just... Here's the thing about that. Oh, the door's closed. Oh, the door's closed. You're telling me I gotta beat this guy? You're telling me I gotta beat this guy? I thought I was gonna get to run. Cause I know this guy's in like the fucking- This guy canonically lives. How much long is he stunned for? Another turn. I don't wanna be in melee with him. Ever. Okay. He's taking 77 damage every time he- Wow, this guy's actually- he, I'm kind of bopping him as long as I don't get hit. I'm just worried- you see what I'm worried about is if he does any of those AoEs. Uh... I think next time... He gets stunned... I... Follow up by healing. Actually, I think I follow up by drinking this Manchir Fortified Alcohol. I just don't know the AoE of the, uh... Yeah, it's gonna hit me. That, that, I think that's it. That's a 3x3. Three three. Uh, best bet I have right now is to heal myself through it. Or try to. Yeah, nah, because he can't go diagonals. It, see, the thing is, it confuses me because my brain is still on Cataclysm, ha like, grid, where I should be able to go here. My brain is thinking that I can do a diagonal, but it's not actually, it doesn't actually let you. Uh, which is hard for me to go, like, understand. Okay. You just heal. So I definitely think I'm safest when I'm at a diagonal. I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink it. Roll. The hell's going on, man? This is, I thought this was alcohol. <laughs> that was happening. know where I am. Oh, yeah, that's it. I've been second winding over and over again. I don't understand how I'm alive. I've second... Oh, he's eating these bodies, huh? He's eating these corpses. Do a dash move. Do a dash move. No, no, no. Do the... Do the... My... Sh my thing! I have a fucking idea. <laughs> I have a fucking idea. Got an idea for this asshole. I wonder how flammable alcohol is. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, we're in a tutorial where this doesn't really matter. I'm willing to test. <laughs> you have to burn you, motherfucker. Not flammable. The answer was not. Flammable. Okay, this guy's actually very easy to dodge now. There's less benches somehow. Which is kind of funny. They're on top of me. 
Oh no, you ate that guy. Keep forgetting those guys exist. There it is. Does this guy do melee? He does do melee. I was curious. All right. Poor fumble. The unfortunate fumble. I think I can second wind again. I'm tired! Don't attack me! Stop it! Dude, I mean, like, yeah, I'm taking a while to kill you, but it is embar- it sh You should be embarrassed that I've been able to walk around- Like, like, I can walk in a circle now and beat you, to be clear. Like, I don't- I'll just- Yeah, eat whatever you want, dude. Eat whatever- Eat it! Go ahead! I think cat, like, chat keeps on trying to give me advice, but, like, I am, I'm objectively, like, doing fine. Like, I'm, I'm getting there, and chat won't shut the fuck up. I, I hate having to see the mods do things, because chat won't, like, shut up. Like, you're, you're pissing me off, and then I have to, then I, like, lose focus at what I'm doing. Like, chat, if I lose, it's the fucking tutorial. Shut your mouth. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's like beating the asylum demon. Like it's an optional thing. Does it matter? I seem to always bait that thing in the diagonal. Because if I if he gets it if he does that move when I'm right in front of him, it's really hard to dodge. I don't want to get more energy. Come on, bud. Okay, that was a misclick. Well, no biggie. We're going to go to the real game now. The, uh, the game... Which is the one observation I made while I was in the tutorial, and the reason I'm using the mouse is because I don't- I didn't see anywhere in the controls a option to, like, go into, like, a grab menu, like I have in Cataclysm, to pick up and interact with things around me. I know I can use a numpad, but then I have to take my hand off of it to, like, pick things up or, like, interact with the environment. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, it's a little- it's a- it's a little- it's a little weird for me. So I've been using the mouse instead. But I'm not as familiar with the controls yet. And there's no like, sometimes it doesn't like, oh, oops, I want to go into a new game. Wow, it really does just let you start from here, huh? Now nah, we're gonna go to a full base game. At least then people will maybe stop backseating. I hope you're enjoying the game at the very least besides for backseaters. Yeah, I just don't know why... I don't know. I, I wish chat... Because it's not all of you. It's a couple idiots. And, um... I hope you understand that at a certain point I'm going to get tired of having to, uh... Have my mods do things. I'm just give, gonna give them permission to permanently ban you. And then you'll have to DM me on Discord instead. Because right now they're timing you out. Uh, but eventually I'll tell them to permanently ban you instead. And then hopefully you'll stop. New game. Adventure. I'm not going to do permadeath because I know how this game's save system works already. And I'd rather just take some time to learn it. Sub mode. Dude, half the so people back seating are subs. <laughs> that does not. My sub mode's never cold. helped with chat behavior. Half my men are dead. No the offense, subs. And traitors. The host be praised. At least I've got the stone shard. 
He survived, and he got the stone shard. If I knew I had to deal with an entire cult of devil knows what, I'd think thrice before getting into the whole mess. I'm too old for an adventure like this. Ah, only I could have a good talk with Gwinnell right now. I'd ask him what the hell is going on. I've been doing this for 30 years, but I've never found myself in such a tough spot. I need to get back to Bryn. I'm not up to going there by myself, so that's why I sent for you. Do you remember how I helped you out back then? Well, time to return the favor. Damn, it's been so long. Tell me, what have you been up to? I don't know who you are, man. Do we know each other? Oh, here we go. Ooh! Let's see here. See the unique traits. It looks like this is what matters. First of all, Reve Velmir the Revenger. He's good at spears, maces, combat mastery, athletics, Jorgrim. I like Jorgrim's look. As bald as he is, he's got that eye. Berserker friendly. Fren frenzy. For each enemy killed, receive 10% weapon damage and 15% crit damage for 10 turns. By you to each their own. Upon receiving an attack, Felmir is granted 1.5% accuracy for five turns. Wow. Um I don't want to pick on Velmir, but his his is uh objectively worse than Jorgrim's by the looks of reading it. Uh <laughs> I don't want to pick on Velmir, but Jorgrim's is a flat out better ability. I'd rather receive a gigantic buff if I'm fighting two people than a 1% accuracy buff when I get hit! What about you? For each enemy within your vision, receive minus 5% cooldown duration, minus 5% abilities energy cost, and minus 2.5% damage taken. That's pretty good. What about you? Sharp Eye. First time an enemy enters your vision, they are applied minus 20% dodge chance and plus 20% damage taken for 10 turns. That's really good. That's a good one. That one's super good. Derwin's is a good one. And Jonah, a uh, runaway sorceress, uh, reading magical treaties for the first time, grants plus 1% magic power. I kind of want you Jorgrim. I think Jorgrim's a good starter character. I think, learn I think playing the game on Jorgrim seems like the, the best bet. Not long ago, people of the northern borderlands would shake in their boots at the mere mention of Tyr the One-Eyed, a famous, legendary leader of the Fjall Brigands. Tyr's gang was infamous for their audacious raids. Even the well-armed troops of the local lords couldn't keep up with the dwarves' attacks. Jorgrim was one of those brigands. He didn't join them for the love of carnage, but rather because most denizens of Fjall can't imagine a different fate for themselves. Okay. Truth be told, for a merciless cutthroat, Jorgrim was way too soft-hearted and honorable. Oh my god. A gentle soul in Jorgrim. A gentle soul. A truly, truly a gentle being. When dear the one-eyed started committing untold cruelties in captured settlements, Jorgrim, who always held a belief that violence against the defenseless is unbecoming of a true warrior, grew resentful of the gang leader and his needless brutality. It's unknown when and how Tyr crossed the final line, but one day Jorgrim ran out of patience. And after a short duel, the ringleader's scalp ended up among his trophies. Left without guidance, the gang fell apart. Some dwarves returned to Fjall, while Jorgrim decided to head south and try his luck as a mercenary. Damn, Jorgrim, damn! Badass, Jorgrim. I'm gonna play Is Jorgrim. so? Interesting. Anyway, enough pleasantries. It's time to get to work. So here's the deal. I can't walk to Bryn with my leg like this. So unless you plan to carry me, we need a cart. I could carry you. We need horses. We're in luck, though. While you were away, I had a talk with the village elder. We came to an agreement. We'll do a couple of tasks for them, and they'll give us a cart and two horses. Okay. Don't worry about the job. It's nothing special. I don't think you need my advice on how to deal with brigands or the undead. What? 
The elder will give you the detail. What? Huh? You should go see him right away. What did you say? Ah, I almost You're dead? Forgot. Here's a map of the area. You need it more than I do. You can also ask the innkeeper huh? about local events. He is a talkative kind. I'm sure he'll answer any you of your questions. Uh, 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 I'm you dead. Go, Good luck. I steal the mugs. <laughs> I'll resell these to someone else. That's all I have for inventory right now. Traveler's Blade and a Dwarven Axe. That's... Yeah, now that's a look. Yeah, that's a look right there. Not bad, Jorgrim, not bad. Not bad. AP, I have two AP. Well, here's the thing is that I know I want to go maces. But I would need a treatise to do that. I know it seems like maces is going to be the game plan. It seems like it's going to be the best thing here. I'll have to find a treatise for it first. I'm going to save my AP. Not instantly purchase anything I don't want. Why maces? They apply the most status effects that seem to be fucking with enemies. In a game where you take as much damage as you do in this game, it seems like the best tactic to survive is to stop your enemy from being able to take actions, and the maces all have daze effects and shit on their abilities. Uh, focuses on crowd control and weakening effects. When you're playing a character that buffs when he kills something, being able to control a crowd of people and then upgrade every single time you kill someone means that it sounds like Maces is the best one. So, I'm gonna go with Maces. Welcome to our fine establishment, says Brooke. I need a bunk allows me to save the game. How much does that cost? One day. Okay, I see. You heard anything interesting? Bears have completely lost their minds these days, ready to maul anyone they see. The last attack happened not so long ago. Victim was a mercenary as well. We had to scour the entire forest in search of his pieces. Keep listening. They also woke from slumber much earlier this winter. Maybe that's the reason why they're so pissed off. Anyway, the moment you spot a bear, you should run for your life. Because it because because you're gonna die. The bears are gonna eat you. And the host forbid you stumble upon their den. There will be no bones left to bury. Happy to see you visiting us again. What are you selling? I'm, I'd like to sell you a used mug. Two used mugs. Thanks. And that is how you close the deal. All right, motherfuckers? And that's how you close the deal. Okay, you take their mugs and you resell them. I made a net 100% positive income gain. All right, because I didn't own those mugs. I stole them. I stole them. They're mine now. Hello, cat. That's a, st that's a I'd have to steal that bucket. I see red. Yeah, this is all red. What's up, lady? How about a mug of foamy ale? Tell me the rumors. These are hard, hungry times, but why would anyone kill wolves and rats for meat? Uh, looks at title. Um, uh, I'd rather abstain from meat altogether than stoop so low. Eating unclean, filthy animals is just asking for getting sick, catching a disease. You don't know nothing about nothing, lady. Hey, don't go. Good, good day, young man. A fine lady. I can't tell from here. What are you selling? I'm glad you asked, sir. I'm selling a delicious flatbread and a mead. And I'm also selling for gold. You can't buy gold for gold. You know any rumors? Do you have any work for me? Listen, I have a task. Do you think you could... Do you think I like what my, my life has come to? No, I despise it. I lost everything because of his highness is It's haunting me so. I can't put it into words. A swivel. I need something stronger to forget. You, you, you help a lonely, feeble veteran of three war campaigns. Brandy, a bottle, a cup, a sip. 
bring it to me, all right? Sure, man. What about mead? I guess it's not mead that he wants. Find a bottle of brandy. It's gotta be brandy. I can kill this man. <laughs> I'm not going to, but let the record show I could. I could kill that man. I could put him in the ground. Does no one live here? Well, that's a victimless crime. <laughs> Yoink! That's my cheese. And and my soup. And and my leek. Now? Who would dare look, chat? No one's gonna step up on someone that looks like that. Alright? No one's gonna step the fuck up on Jorgrim the killer. No one. Look at him. He's Jorgrim. There's a leak in his bag! He stole a leak! Oh, let me take a look at the map. Oh. Big map. Big map. And that's a little town right here. Hello, pig. Or was he kind to Eldorian pigs? Those of them which didn't starve to death were largely appropriated by marauding soldiers. Where the hell's the where the hell's the leader of this town? I'll ask this random farmhand. Good day. Tell me the rumors. Time to think of it. The plague is the scariest thing of them all. You can't reason with it. Then comes the famine. In the very least, it has straightforward solutions. As for war, it's all a matter of perspective. As long as you're on the winning side, it doesn't look so bad, eh? What do you want? I just want to know where the leader of the town is. I had to talk to him. Hang on. It says he's here. Where is he? Where is he? Come out! Mine. <laughs> Sorry, asshole. I'll be taking that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I enter my... Can I just, like... I'm carrying a stolen item outside. I hate man. I hate music. I hate it. Jorgrim hates music. What's up, lady? Good day. Anything interesting? Yeah, I give it another month or two before the war is on our doorstep again. No, we had to run. No, we had to hide. And only a host knows whether you will end up alive or in the gutter. You sell meat? Want a fatter chunk? I don't like it whenever anyone says something like that. I heard anything interesting? You think this truce will end the war? Yeah, right. I can see the sky collapsing on our heads before these Hawborn lords finally come to an agreement. Where the hell is the elder of this town? These people are all way too young and spry. What do you sell? Well, I'm glad you asked. Okay, that's, uh, he just sells some flatbread. Oh, hang on, I wanted to talk to you. Yep. A mercenary, fresh from the road, let me give you a piece of advice. Stick with me and you'll be rolling in gold in no time. What do you propose? I have a business offer for you. Previous mercenary used to bring me all kinds of wares and I paid him generously for them. Everyone was happy with that deal, so how about you and I have the same agreement? What happened to the previous mercenary? He... Well, he fucking died. He died. Anyway, no use dwelling on it. It's all water under the bridge. The only thing that matters is that we have an agreement. Uh, what kind of goods are you looking for? Whatever you have. Weapons, gems, jewelry. I'll buy anything which I can unload for big money. There's a demand for food and drink, so I'll pay handsomely for those as well. All right, Bert. What do you sell? I can see a wall of weapons behind you, Bert. And you sell one spear.
I feel like this is a must purchase. So you can save. Allows you to set up a sleeping spot that can be used to save your progress. The sleeping spot expires one after one day or immediately after being used. Using a bedroll is dangerous. It doesn't... It might be one use. It doesn't say it's one use. It says the sleeping spot expires. It doesn't say... I'm not sure if it's one use or not. Chet, you can actually answer this. You know, I know you guys have been backseating completely w without any regard for your own safety in this chat, but I'm giving you the opportunity now. Is a bedroll one-time use? It's one use. Okay. Still seems like it's probably worth getting soon. I can take this bucket. We just made fucking 10 bucks, chat. All right. Need something repaired? Let me see what you got. Militia club, 429 bucks, huh? I guess I'll be taking weapons off of the dead bodies of the people I kill. That's breaking into someone's house. Hi, still looking for the owner of this town that I'm supposed to talk to, looking for the elder. Wondering where he lives. Be the elder? Who the hell are you? Ah, another mercenary. Well, isn't this a surprise? And a dwarf on top of that. As if things weren't bad enough already. You got something against me? No, why would I? Everything is as it should be. The king is dead, the realm is ravaged by war, all kinds of scoundrels wander the roads, and dwarves climb out of their mountains acting like they haven't been raiding us for the last 200 years. But who am I to complain? Just some old boar who doesn't deserve a grain of respect. Am I right? Anyway, I hope you'll manage to survive a bit longer than our last hero. How many patches do you people need, huh? So he sells a bunch of clothes, and then he also sells a uh, throwing net. Mm, throwing nets are probably pretty good. Uh, the effect immobilizes the affected target. The duration of immobilization and the durability loss depends on the target's size. 53 bucks. Serpent Tucker, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. I'm not going to pay for throwing that, but if I see one on the ground, I'm going to take it. Because being able to stop someone from chasing you sounds pretty important. Thanks for the 10 gifted subs, though. That's super kind of you. That's super kind. Oh my god. All right. It's got to be him. You have any work for me? My back is killing me. If I don't do anything about it in a couple days, I won't even be able to get up from bed. And I still have work to do. Help an old man out. Go to the forest and pick some herbs for me. The dried stuff I have here won't do. So here's what I need for the ointment I didn't accept yet. A tuft of spearmint, a tuft of flea wart, and a couple leaves of agrimony. Got it? Bring it all here. I'll share some of my supplies with you. Deal. The easiest job of my life. No one's here to observe me steal this shit out of this barrel. I wonder if I'm just allowed to. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, whoa, hey. Take it. I see the vision range on everything. Wait, wasn't that one of the things I needed? Is it five inches out of the fucking thing? No, that, no, no, that was wormwood. We need flea wart. They're different. They're different. Thief! Stop! Listen, chat. I wanted this ring. I'm not gonna sell any of this stuff. I get caught. Howdy. Jerg. Hello, hello. You one of those mercs the entire village has been bustling about all day? Good to have you here. Maybe you'll bring some order at last. Doesn't the village have guards to maintain said order? What do you call guards? It's either geezers or yesterday's youngsters who had weapons handed to them. Now, th now they are to serve and protect, so to speak. Each of them is still wet behind the ears, or even worse, is way too long in the tooth. I'm telling you that I'll all be slaughtered come a real fight. Something that Odar doesn't care about. Well, well look, you want to pay me? 
I see you're not fond of the Elder. Why would I be fond of that tyrant? It was, where's his name? Odar? He spends his entire day at his desk, dribbling who knows what. He's at his desk. All right. Well, if you don't like Odar so much, then who should be the leader? I don't know, fucking know. Shut up, idiot. Well, what about me? Could I be the owner of this town? No, wrong, idiot, stupid. You're dumb. I didn't really want, I didn't want the job anyway. I'm gonna go. I don't even, I don't know who you are. It's gonna, oh, that's agrimony. I, I, that's literally one of the plants I need. I'm just gonna hold alt and look for the plants that guy asked for because I guess they're five inches from his house. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna do a quick little sweep of the zone. Henbane. I mean, he'll probably buy all the herbs, to be honest. Spearmint, you gotta be kidding me, old man. You gotta be kidding me if I find the last one. You gotta be kidding me. Bog bean, that's not it. We got a lot of maps still where there could be the last fucking plant. What was it that he even... Chin up! Good things ahead. What are you talking about? What does that mean in this case? Good things ahead? What the hell does that mean, man? Why don't you shut up? You saw a butterfly. Butterflies are gross. They're gross little fucking creatures. Wormwood. Flea wart is what we're missing. Keep mixing up flea wart and wormwood. I don't know why they're because of the W's in it. Or horsetail. I mean, I'm guessing I can sell all this crap to him. More spearmen. Okay, so the only one that I can't find here is Wormwood. Or Flea Wart. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go find that Elder, I guess. If he's even real at this point, we don't know. Sun's starting to set. Can't find the guy. Oh, that might be it here. Oh, that's the biggest house in the fucking town. This is a barracks. That's gotta be him. I haven't seen dwarves in the lands for years. You, I hear you people are ferocious. Well, we can definitely use someone ferocious right now. Just make sure to behave while you're in the village. What do you need? Varen didn't tell you? We didn't have capable mercenaries in Osberg for quite a while, so there's a lot to deal with. Bandits, cults, the undead, lots of places around here attract filth like that. We don't have many guards, so I can't afford any of them dying. That's why I need a mercenary. Let's get to business, then. I have a few contracts available. If you fulfill a couple of them, we're even. Left your cart and your horse, so what do you say? I only have one contract for you at the moment. Stolen goods. Interested? Well, it says here on the label that stolen goods is three skulls. Three skulls out of what, motherfucker? Three skulls out of what? Three skulls out of what? <laughs> Do you really want to know? No. <laughs> The roads aren't safe these days. Selling grain to Bryn is the only thing which keeps Osbrook afloat, but the local brigands from Tower Raven weren't yet we're not able to do that yet. I can tell by the fact that he gave us a location called Tower Raven Wart. I'm just gonna assume that if anyone's holding up in a tower, they're probably stronger than me. Uh they intercept every cart we send. We're sick of it. You get to the tower, kill their leader, and return the stolen goods, I'll pay you well. Think about it. Okay, this will do. I'll do it. Are there any other contracts? He has no other stuff. All right. Chat, I'm not an idiot. I need to grind levels in this game before I'm going to go to that fucking tower. There's just no way. I need gear. 
Seems we're gonna go try to get some other jobs done. Okay, such as, uh, fucking find that old man's herbs. Remember that guy? The old man who desires herbs. We're gonna go find his herbs. We know this. We're gonna go do the herb quest. Come on. And then maybe we'll find like a way to get that fucking mace thing I want, because I really do want to level up mace, not these weapons. <laughs> Hello. Two random people. I don't like that my game automat- There's no safe? There is no- So there's no safe uh, mode in this game, which is something I forgot about. This game doesn't have that thing in Cataclysm where if you get too close to someone, it'll say, Hey, heads up, I know that you auto queued all these moves, but we're not gonna walk you into this. Uh, we're gonna let you know. I feel like I can take these two at full energy, but uh, let's try to be, let's try to not be brainless. Uh, will they follow me into a town full of people? I'd love to see them follow me into a town full of people. Let's see. No, they are not going to follow me into a town full of people. Well, how does this system work? Can I go in here and be farther away from them? Yes. So let's try to do the opposite. I'm gonna try to get up here and get a distance where only one of them maybe sees me. Okay. This is the best option I have. One down. He is gonna follow me. Okay. All right, man. And there he goes, begging for his life. Come back! Fuck did he go? What the? Huh? What? Huh? Coward. I'll be taking this cudgel. Which does 16 crushing damage. 2% chance to daze. Mm, my weapons are probably better <laughs> right now. If I see anything fancier. Okay, so hang on. I do want to check something else. Because while I can't level up the mace stuff yet, I could invest in dual wielding. You know, that's something I could do. Because I think my character already has skill in dual wielding. At least it said that that was like his like, quote unquote, specialties. Probably good to have an ability. Anyways, let's get Flurry of Strike so we have something. Cool. Wait, I wonder if I can, I mean, the guy said he would buy anything. I have to offload some of these herbs. My inventory is full. I just want to see if I can get into a fight with someone and see like how my character actually did. Wanna, let me show you if I can get back to that that old bag before he fucking goes to sleep. This looks like the sun's setting. I don't want to give him the stuff that I actively need for my quest from him. I can definitely see why someone would turn on cheat engine for like town navigation. Oh no. I think that's what Benji does. He turns up cheat engine for this game. Hey. Do you want to buy a jug? Do you want to buy a bucket? Do you want to buy a wormwood? Do you want to buy... Nope. Keep the agrimony. Keep the spearmint. Do you want to buy two horsetails? And a and henbane? And... I know these all give me, like, basic stuff, but, uh... I'm just gonna make money right now because these things seem to be everywhere. Considering I got all this in one zone. Okay. Cool. Wait a minute. That was a legally stealable barrel. No, it wasn't. Never mind, man. I thought that I thought I could steal that barrel.
Hello? Rhubarb. Why, well, we can eat that. Oh. Horsetail. They said to go to the woods for this job. We know where there is woods. It's down the road. The fuck made that sound? Oh, it was my slight thirst. Henbane. This all sells for three gold. Every little bit counts. Every little bit is going to count. Oh. It's been quiet. Maybe they, maybe everyone heard me kill those bandits and they skedaddled. Maybe they got the hell out of here. We will never see another person alive in this place ever again. Take a sippy of water from my water bottle. Hello? Seems we're reaching the forest. We know which plant we're looking for. Hello? Nothing like going into the forest at the dead of night. To collect sticks. That can be used to start a fire. I'm guessing I don't know how to make a fire naturally. Let me guess. Let me guess. Basic skill. Okay, those are normal. Survival. My guy knows how to light a fire, it's just not on his bar. How many other things aren't on my bar that should be on my bar? Huh? Huh? How many other things you d aren't on my bar? Narrows eyes. This is a goddamn ghost town. Oh, getting pretty deep into the woods now. Chet, getting pretty out here in the middle of the night. My guy's still feeling pretty good about life. Death cap mushroom. None of these were the mu I didn't see anything related to what I was looking for. I see a kind of like path here. Raspberry shrub. I love raspberries. Hello? I'm looking for... What the hell's going on? I found a camp. It's lit. At least two vagrants They've noticed me. That's fine. A forest. Are there more? Just two. All right, motherfuckers. Let's tango. We have here a thug, a grimy malnourished commoner ready to commit any crime for a piece of bread or coin, and a goon. Okay, that guy's gonna have to travel in a weird... All right, we're gonna try to get this guy done first. I get him in a spot where I can back up if I need to. I open with the dual strike and just try to bop this guy immediately. Ba -ba -ba! Ha! Ah! Guy crit me in the fucking head, but we're okay. We're all right. As long as there's no one else. Where's the log? I want to see how much that guy actually hit me for. Did someone crit me? Yeah. No, wait, that was my crit. 
Someone bopped me hard during that. But I guess it wasn't as bad as I thought. Actually, it was. I can see my health. But... Yeah, no, that's spiked club. Armor penetration. 20%. 20%. Hold on here. I like the club more. I like the, I like the stats on that club more. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Get around a corner. I don't have much stuff in the way of medical uh, attention. I don't have like band. I don't have a lot of medical stuff. I'm trying to save what I have. We're gonna not bandage up anything. Not like we need to really, anyways. This guy's a complete fucking buffoon, the fact he didn't actually get involved until now. Hand over your gold, says the goon. Hand over your gold, says the goon. My guy, your two friends died 30 minutes ago. I rested. Give me your money. I'm going to kill you. How you feeling right now? Not good. All right. I activate dual spiked club mode. Actually, that thing's breaking. Maybe later. Well, I cleared this camp. Do they have anything of value? Elven ice wine. And 50 bucks. No traps. Little sacks over here. With a travel pot in it that I can sell for 40 bucks. And it's better than... I need the spearmint. Oh, I'm actually going to move these around. For a sec. Those are the quest ones. I'll keep those. I don't really need sticks. What's this sell for? 73 bucks. Yeah, we're gonna try to grab that. So we'll ditch ditch some stuff. I'm gonna need to eat soon. I don't actually think I can sell stuff that I steal, funnily enough. Unless it's something I can eat. I mean, I still didn't find the plant I wanted, so I'm gonna keep looking around for now they said it would be in the forest but I haven't I haven't seen nothing bear spot what is this game talking about Where? is there a is there a lock on to character button well it sounds like I'm going farther away from it Would this save my game? Trap. If I sleep here for an hour? Because I do need to save. <laughs> like that bear's gonna get involved. That bear would be a fool to get involved. Okay. The bear's not gonna get involved with shit. Alright, let's go find that last herb. Preferably in the direction away from the bear. That old man said that herb could be truly miles into the forest. He said I may never return. You can't, you can't just eat something straight off the ground? Why was I carrying leeches? You can sell them. And they have healing properties. Dude. Everyone knows about leeches and all of their healing properties. I see there's wolves in these woods. Traveling at night's kind of dangerous. What with all the wolves? How much does a blueberry sell for? Three dollars. <laughs> see, this place is a fucking shithole. <laughs> I see the woods suck. 
If I had a bow, I'd be willing to maybe fight an animal. But I don't really want to fight some fucking pack of wolves in the dead of night in the woods. That old bag swore to me <laughs> that I would find the forest. And within it, would be the treasure I seek. And so far I've found a load of nothing. Other than this thug. Dude, it's 4 a.m. Chill. What's your deal? Like, really? 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 another guy is that a that's another man i mean like it seems like just sweeping this area to kill random old bandits is a solid business strategy for leveling up in this game so i'm happy to kill every useless bandit i see yeah, fucking crit on motherfucker die i need to check the condition of these weapons What's the condition on this one? 56 out of 85? 45. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Where the hell's that last plant? Looking for flea wart. Flea wart! Come on out, the birds are starting to chirp. I see a rabbit. 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 How fast do you think a rabbit moves to the next part of the map? Fast. Faster than me. Reward. Come on out now. I've spent enough time looking for you for what's probably $50 a pay. I'm gonna try to, excuse my language, but I'm about to get really toxic at Flea Wart and really kind of start screaming at it. I'm, I'm gonna really, like, go off on this fucking herb in a minute if it doesn't come out. Is that dead? Is it, am I willing to grave rob? <laughs> I don't have a shovel. Wait, hang on. I'm doing it. Something's noticing me. I'm ignoring it. It says I'm doing it. My guy keeps saying, come on. I think I'm getting through it. I'm in. <laughs> Chat. Chat, I'm in. I got this guy's bones and stuff. I got all of his bones. I got all of his bones and stuff. How much does a... It doesn't say how much coin bags carry. Saw movement over here and I don't know what it was, which is why I'm not going near it. We're gonna keep looking for our fucking plant. 2000, okay. This is a disturbing clearing. Oh, it's just a field. My tummy's a rumbling. I need to eat berries. Wormwood! I don't need you! I need flea wart! Right? Damn it! That old man, that old fuck, sent me on a mission to find a plant that doesn't exist. Because he likes bullying dwarves. There is no such thing. There's no such thing. 
Also, from all the raspberries around, I'm starting to feel like there's... It's kind of not that hard to stay totally fed. Huh. At least in the forest zones. Like, yeah, it's not giving me a ton of fucking f hunger. But, uh... It's going pretty well. And it raises my morale. And if I eat this roasted morale, it's gonna raise my morale. Simple as that, baby. The fact that I cannot find this plant is starting to actually drive me crazy. I'm gonna start losing my mind out here in the woods. Help! 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 I'll leave a bad review if it eats me! Help! I swear to God I will leave a negative review on this Steam page! If that bear gets me, I will not hesitate! Point of interest. Rumor has it something can be found here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like lingonberries? Or maybe the fucking plant I want. J is spotted. Tit is spotted. Are those characters or, or birds? Oh, there's Tit. Oh, these birds seem as, like symbols of luck. Mind wart. That's not the fucking plant I need. I need flea wart. This game is really starting to get on my nerves. It's like, I think we have another camp over here. Did I aggro just him? Because that's so good, if true. Oh, yeah. Just you and me, you old bastard. Follow me. Let's tango, you and me. I didn't mean to press one. <laughs> Hold on. I need to rebind that. Is there a way I can move that without... I'll finish it after the fight. Can I move this? Yes. Please move that over there. Just so I don't accidentally inspect the ground while there's a guy fighting me. Thanks. Because that could be really bad. So what's this? A battle cleaver. Just want to see what this does. Uh, like what its stats are. 34 bucks. Oh, sorry. 131 bucks. It's a common sword. Well, look. It seems like it's not hard to find the maces that I'm carrying around as if I'm going to dual wield them. Uh, so instead of being delusional, I'm just going to keep carrying these better weapons for now and equip the battle cleaver in my offhand until such time as I actually find the thing I want to use. Because these are just flat out better weapons right now. Camp. That guy's noticed me. Good. We'll take him on one on one. I'm gonna, hang on, I'm a little hungry. Am I waiting? Berries and this cheese. How am I feeling? Looking good. All right, I'm ready for you. Shit, shit, shit! Pop the wall! Yep. Hello? Looks like that was only the two of them. Barrel's empty. Well, another place to save while I look for a plant that doesn't exist. Ooh, gold earrings, valuable. I mean, we're making money out here, chat. And we'll be able to technically do some stuff. Although I am, uh, I'm getting really depressed that I can't find the one thing I, I'm looking for, the one thing. 
you know, the one thing. You know, it'd be really epic if I could find just the one fucking plant. Because I know I, did, I shouldn't be out here. That's more mind wart. I gotta go back to the normal forest. This is like the bad forest. We don't want... We want leaf forest. We don't... He didn't say go deep into the jungle. I know the enemies are probably gonna be worse out here. I gotta get back. Lincolnberries. Pine forest. Yeah, that's what I thought. Back up. No, 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 no. Different forest equals different dangers. I'm not falling for it. I'm gonna start going back towards town, and surely on the way, I'll see the plant I desire. It is my destiny. We'll go up that way. Take a diagonal path. Besides, I think directly to the north of me is bears. It's Bear County. More Mind Wart. Oh! Oh, good! It's more Mind Wart. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Love Mind Wart. Hey, wolves. Forgot this place was infested by wolves. Just looking for one plant. I'm in the market for one plant. Going for one plant. Hang on, is that a hedgehog? Lead me to what I'm looking for or die. All right, I don't know what to tell you. You take me to where I desire, or I will kill you. Now. Okay, you're actually faster than me. Bye. <laughs> I can't catch up to a hedgehog! <laughs> and he's not even Sonic! He's just going at a normal hedgehog speed! Season is it chat? How angry is this moose gonna be? What season is it? <laughs> How territorial you think this moose is right now? Oh no, no, what's its move? Ramming charge! Its move is ramming charge! Uh, okay. Um. Well, hey, here's my plan. I am going to politely back up. I really want that back. Battle Cleaver sell for 130 gold. Chat? I haven't gained anything since my last save. I haven't gotten the plant. And I haven't killed anything. Matter of fact, I'm behind in food since my last save. So I'll tell you what's gonna fucking happen, you moose fuck. All right? I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm gonna grab this cleaver. Okay? 
I'm gonna grab this cleaver, and you're gonna step the fuck back while I do. Okay. Cause you don't want to catch. <laughs> you don't want to catch these axes and cleavers, all right? You don't want to. You don't want to catch this. Step the fuck back. Pathetic. Did it just start? I don't see it. In RP, I don't see it. In RP, I don't see it. In RP, I don't see anything. That could have been bad. But it ended up being okay. Where is my fucking plan? In RP, I don't see it. I'm too busy looking at plants. Where is my fucking plant? Come out! Come out now! Dude, I'm gonna kill you because I- I'm, I'll kill you both. I swear to God, I will put you both in the ground. Do not test me on this, I will kill you both. I've gotten them to get to two levels of gap between each other. What? I didn't want it. Hello? You're gonna piss me off. Yeah, this is called this is called perfect spacing because you see here now this guy has to go all the way around to get to me and spend four turns doing it or three turns doing it or he has to wait in his line by then it's too late and his friend is dead I owned him now he's gonna follow me over here he's gonna dance around a tree come here sir time to die Ow. Ow. Stop! Stop! Dude. Dude. Dude, no, for real. There's a bear that way. Dude. Bro. There's a bear down there. <laughs> oh, he's turned back around. He wants to fight me again. Are you sure? Did you really get that much time to heal? No, he did not. They look so dumb when they're like dead. Look at this guy. He looks like he, he looks like someone's like fucking fully like. He looks like he got like flattened like a pancake by something. <laughs> he just like got like crushed. It's like a skin suit. I know what I must have if I'm gonna dual wield because I see the amount of fumbles I do. Me agility. Sucks I can't actually, who sells treaties? I guess I just find them naturally over time. I really, really, really want to get into maces, but um, I am, find the book for it. I guess it'll happen eventually. Well, I'm not having much of a problem killing random thugs, so I'm not that like, I'm not like, oh God, I need to level up my skills yet. I'd rather save my stuff and not make a decision I'm not actually invested in. Oh, hang on. I have to go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I don't, if, if the moose comes out, do not pay attention to him in RP and he has to leave, okay? I'll be RP.
I'm back. I'm back. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, get your head in the game. We have a plant to look for. <laughs> we have we have a plant to look for. Does everyone remember what the name of it is? It's called Flea Wart, motherfucker. Flea Wart. Maybe if I press Shift V, I can search for Flea Wart around me. <laughs> you know, just like. Just like that other game I play. Maybe if I press shift V, I can just type in slash flea wart and find it. Surely. <gasps> press shift. It doesn't do anything. Why doesn't it do anything? Nurse! Nurse, my keyboard is broken, nurse! Nurse! There's something wrong with my keyboard, nerds. There must be, it must be my keyboard. It's gotta be the problem. It just has to be. Yes. Hello. What's your name? Goon. Approach if you dare. I'm a level two warrior. And I fumble 1% less than I did before. And you shall know the difference. Ha ha! Ha ha! Sha! Thanks for the 39 XP, fool. This is like looking for copper, chat. Yeah, it's truly like looking for copper in fucking vintage story. Like, I'm just never gonna find it. It's, I don't think the thing I want exists. I fixed it. I'll tap to the game for a second. There seems to be, it seems that there's some kind of strange crypt this way. You guys think they keep flea wart by this strange fucking crypt? I'm not going in it. I rest, I assure you I'm not going inside the thing. I'm not that dumb. I'm not like. <gasps> I had to check to make sure I didn't have my webcam on. Because last time I made a funny sound, my webcam was on, and everyone laughed at me. Now I'm all self conscious. I hate this plant. Hang on, can I eat this? Hang on, let me. Hang on. 20% extra thirst. I don't want it. Give me this. We go back to town. As soon as I take a peek at this crypt, I'm just curious, you know? Hello? 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 My inventory's full, I'm going home. Okay, bye. Yeah, it's crypt. So before I go back home, Agrimony Flea Wart Spearmint. Agrimony Spearmint Flea Wart. We got it. Let's get the fuck home now. Take it slow though. There could be bandits on the road. There could be bandits. We don't know what to expect. Grave robbing time. I've grave robbed before already in this game. So yeah, no, I will grave rob that place. I might just buy a shovel before I do it. Wow, there was even flea wart right here on the fucking street. I hope that's not gonna be a pattern. It better not be a... Ah. 
That's a that's a fluke. Right there. That's a fluke. He promised me flea wart only grew in the deepest of forests. He told me that. Ah. You two. Are you sure you wanna are, are you sure you wanna catch this? <laughs> I feel like if I said that to anyone and then like fucking pulled out my axe and blade, most people would just be like, ah, oh, yeah, uh, bye. Chubba muffin, chub chub, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. Are you sure you wanna catch these axes? Thanks for the fucking 10 gifted subs, very kind of you. I wouldn't mind splitting these two. I might take them to the, uh, to a spot where I can split them a little. Like right here, because that guy got confused. All right, that works. One more step, please, sir. <laughs> what sucks is this guy was fucking smart enough to move in such a way that his friend can get space to attack me. Wow, I hit hard sometimes, dude. All right. Come on, just get some energy back. Yeah, fumbling is rough. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, strength doesn't matter for shit if you fumble all the time. Fumbling, hands down. Hands down, absolutely the most dangerous stat in the game. He who fumbles and bumbles is certainly going to die. He's going to tumble. God damn. Fucking and crumble. God fucking damn it. Listen, chat. I, I fucking did not do very well in rhyming school. All right, because I didn't go. <laughs> because I didn't go to that. All right. Stop mocking me or face my wrath. <laughs> I can't even throw this. It won't let me. I was going to throw that. Hang on, what is this? Lingonberry. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ligma berry? God, you're fucking funny. Good news is, chat, we have everything we need. That flea wart was a it was a it was a difficult fucking thing to hunt down, but we got it, baby. And this Dude, you are like in the sight of houses outside the fucking town and you're going to try to mug me. My guy, I could believe it like over the hill, but this is like truly inches from, from the town. All right, you goon and his goon friend. I mean, I'll fucking take you down. I will fight you both. I will take you on. But if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it on my terms. Well, I'm taking you to town. <laughs> oh! Fucking dispatched with barely any effort at all. You ready? To, you ready to catch this motherfucker? You ready to catch? To catch this cleaver, man? You sure? Don't kill me! Stop! Please! Come back here right now. Battle cleave yourself for a lot more money. Let's see, 50 out of 75, 50 out of 75. He's just a widow bandit. Yeah, he's just a widow bandit. You didn't know any better. At town? No, we're one block away, which means there's still someone that could come to get me. Which is fine, because I'd love to level more. That's not flea wart, that's good. Because if that was flea wart, I'd snap like a fucking twig. I'd start screaming. I start frothing at the mouth. Start laughing like a maniac. Did I make that guy bleed? Ooh, uh-oh, you're bleeding, my friend. 
Oh, did you bandage that? That's cool. Ooh, a ring. Another copper ring. These are good for you. They help you stay alive. Let's see. So these... these, uh -huh. And we're going to go ahead and put that right... Uh, uh, there. Put these down like this. Inventory management is so hard. Chat. Inventory management is so goddamn hard. But I got there. He's cleaver sell for a lot. We'll take all you have. Is it just you? I killed your friend. He deflated into a pile of, of skin. Dude. I'm casually healing while you chase me. I feel like you don't understand. Did you see how much I fumbled there, chat? Did you see it? That's why I'm stacking agility and not strength. Because fumbling four times caused my, uh, like, good move to cause a, uh, a, a cool, what, eight damage total? Every single one of them fumbled. That's like 18 consecutive fumbles. And that's why I'm going to be stacking agility. Uh, because one bad, one bad fumble fest was all it took. One bad fumbling was all it took for me to crumble, for me to start crumbling. If you fumble, you may stumble. And then you'll crumble. That's right. I made that. I made that. I'm home! What's this? Prudence. Someone, sometimes patience and caution are much more helpful than courage. Could this have popped up, I don't know, when I was on a quest? Instead of coming back home to sell goods? I have an idea. I'm gonna go talk to that old man now. Old man! Old man! Old man! Old man! I hope you didn't die! I brought you your herbs! Here. I finished your task. You're a lifesaver, I mean it! Here, take this! Two healing salves worth 30 bucks. Goodbye. I mean, to be honest, chat, it's worth it. We didn't have any healing self, so stop omega lulling. Stop omega lulling now if you know it's good for you. All right. I'd stop. I'd stop omega lulling. What time is it in game? I didn't know I could shout. I guess I did it once by accident. Didn't realize. Does my guy own a clock? Can I examine my surroundings to see what time it is? Because I know it's dark. Well, I'm going to go to the inn and save. Because I can't sell to the merchant yet. Wow, it must be nighttime if everyone's... Am I about to be killed? <laughs> Am I? What's that? Do I start swinging? Do I run? Everyone, the second I walked into the bar, lunged at me. Oh. Oh, oh they're going. They're all just, they're leaving. I need a bunk for one day. Cool, thank you. Goodbye. 
I just want to save my game quick. You got to lock your door, old man. I mean... Why is there a dog pelt in here? I'm gonna take that though. For sure I'm taking the bear trap. Bear trap I'm stealing. It's mine now. Ah, oh, these commoners. Can't you see I don't have time for your trivi trivialities? Who am I? Who are you? Now, that's the question. Anyway, don't bother with the pleasantries. Your appearance speaks for itself. I, however, occupy a fairly high position. I arrived here from Bryn. I, who asked? Dude. Bye. I could kill him. I could take his life. Would anyone even know? You wouldn't even know if I just killed him. I just saved the game. Would anyone even care? I just. Need! Leave! Go away! I, uh. Oh, I had to keep right clicking on it. He He told me to leave. Okay, everyone knows I did a crime. <laughs> everyone knows. I saw it. I saw it. He told on me when he died. He told on me. Oh, I'm going to steal that bear trap again cuz the bear trap is very clearly good. Because I can use it to immobilize someone for three. I already got it once. I'm not about to take a fucking $250 fine now, motherfucker. All right. Let me be clear about something. All right, asshole. You're not about to random chance catch me one time after I already did it once. Okay. What's going to happen is I'm going to open this door. Okay. I'm going to close this door. I'm going to open this. I'm going to take this fucking thing out. And you're not... I swear to God, I will slit your fucking throat. You catch me one more time. All right? Save scum? I don't care. So here's the difference between me and you. Uh, I don't care about things like that. I'm going to claim what I'm deserved. What I literally deserve. Which is this. I will, I will literally kill- I got it the first time! What was the- what was the statistic ch It doesn't say on it when I'm stealing it, how- what the chance is. Not that I've no- like, I'll- I'll, I'll check. It doesn't say, hey, you got a 25% chance of getting caught doing this. You just take it. Okay, so I have to do this. What's the meaning of this? Do you think I'm blind? Give it back immediately. Okay, here, man. Now it's on him. How is this guy... How is this happening? Okay, I'm going to do something that I think is like the, the actual issue here. I loaded, which I think reset his... Ah, uh, the save happens before sleep. It say it says your progress has been saved, but it actually saved it before I went to sleep. So he had just fallen asleep. Now he's been sleeping for an hour. So maybe now I get it. Nope, I guess I just got super lucky the first time this happened. That's so weird. How did I get it the first, like, I wish you would, like, show a percentage. Like, tell me, like, oh, hey. Like, you know, most games that have theft. I just won't grab it then. But, uh...
It seems like a pretty easy fix to add that. Stealth is broken. I don't think there is stealth in this game right now. I mean, but if I stole anything in the middle of the night, it's not like anyone would be able to catch me. I need to go to sleep because there's nothing... Can't sell anything to that merchant in the middle of the night, so I guess I'll just... Go back to the bar. I guess I'll go back to the bar, take it easy. For the evening. Get fucked. Hit your guts, man! Fine! I'll just sleep through the night. It's technically faster to reload than it is to walk to my own bed. The, even this I know. Good night. Go downstairs. Let's get to check. I'm in another room now. I'm in another room now. Surely. I see this game has some really uh, unintuitive thieving right now. Uh, I'm guessing if anyone's on the map anywhere, they know. So I'll just, I'll just live my life. Yeah, it's okay. I played Cataclysm. It's the same thing over there. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same as Cataclysm. Where they sense you through the wall. They'll sense you through floors. They'll sense you from eight floors away. And they'll kill you. If you steal from them. Oh, man. I got stuff to sell. Including this shirt. This sheath. I've got this... Battle cleaver for $12. These were not worth as much money. Still better than the other weapons. Gold earrings. My traveler's sword is supposed to be worth more than this, but, uh, this plate? This huge ass cauldron? Ooh, ooh. I kind of need to get an identification scroll before I get, like, cursed. Does not spoil. Okay, so that's good food. How do I? Is there a well? Yes. So I can drink from the well, and I can collect water. Cool, 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 cool. You sell food, lady? Sounds good. Two apples. Hey, show me your goods. Does all right, chat. Actual, uh, actual question time. So you're allowed to answer. Okay. Is there a place here that sells training books? And if so, where? No, I just find them. Okay. Definitely don't think I'm ready to fight the guys at Tower Ravenwort, but I don't see why I can't split that trip into multiple fights and multiple days. I could probably go over there, kill some of them, double back, kill more, etc., etc. You know, the responsible way. Well, I'm still prudent. I'd like to do something while I still have these two buffs on. Come on, chat. We got work to do. You'll be a long walk to that tower. And even then, there could be all kinds of dangers on these roads. Those that are unprepared, it could be some of the last things they ever do. I, however, am always prepared and thus, I will likely be fine. Ow. 
I will likely be totally fine. Or I'll die. Okay. I love my straight lines. I love being able to just walk in a straight line. Some slight deviations. I just really want to capitalize on my buffs at the tower while I have the chance. It said it was three skulls, but that imply I'm also assuming it's multiple floors, and thus I can kind of... Hang on, what's this? Sh I should confirm what the shout button is, because I'd want to kite people for this. Uh, hang on. Settings, controls. Where's my yell? I know I did it by accident at one point. Well, I know what it is here. <clears throat> hey. Do it from there. Here we are. The tower. Check the perimeter, see what we can see. See much of anything. Which is what's waking me out. What the hell's going on? What the hell is it? Hello? Grave. You must belong to some of the people that live over there in the tower. A little bit more, we're gonna be through it. Fifty dollars. Sanity decreases, morale decreases. Shut the fuck up, game. Hell up. Shut up and eat your raspberries. All right? Shut up and eat your raspberries now. Don't want to hear it. You're fine. You're fine. You only, you barely, you're fine, motherfucker. You're fine. Yeah, I was really fucked up, bro. I had to dig up that grave with my bare hands. And I grabbed a handful of raspberries and just kind of chomped down on those. They're really in season right now. It's honestly, they're del absolutely delicious. I don't know if you tried any raspberries straight off the, straight out of the forest, but. Okay, well, that's the, that is the fort. Let's get it right on the edge of sight distance here. I wish there was a way to, like, without having to hover over it with my mouse, look at, like, what was behind Rebel. Okay, so that's like a guy with clothes. He did see me, but he looks like he's coming out alone. I can, I sh if I can't take just him, I deserve to die. All right, is how I see it. If I can't take just this guy, He's wearing basically equivalent stuff to me. I deserve to die. However, I should close the gap on him because he's got a reach weapon. So what I'm going to do is this. It sucks because I can't, um, I don't think he can reach. I don't think he can hit me around a wall. He can, but it's okay. It's, I keep forgetting that I can't do diagonal things around objects, which keeps fucking wigging me out. So how much damage am I doing? Yeah, he's fucked. That was not bad. Okay. So I can still take one. I can do one-on-ones with rebels. But I'm not going in there just yet. The thing is that I have my resolution set to zoom, because this game has that really cool thing that I fucking loathe in these kinds of games 
where um, you can't scale the UI without scaling the resolution. Uh, you can't scale any part of it without scaling the resolution. So in order to zoom in closer to the character and see what's happening close to my guy, uh, we sacrifice not being able to see the full vision of our actual like sight line. So I should be able to see right here, and I can't. So the game punishes you for having a high resolution monitor. Not a bad day. My character's happy now. Dude, you just killed a guy. My guy. Someone's dead. Because of you. I'm gonna let out a shout, see if anyone hears me. I wanna circle this whole place and make sure that no one's gonna be coming in behind me from this building or tower. My guy, you killed someone. Oh, weird. I had that thing just happen with my... You ever had that thing happen with your ears where, like, one of your ears just, like, stops hearing right for a second? Just starts, like, it's beeping? Like, a ee! like in one ear? Like, randomly? Ugh. Hate that. I can't hear! Just a peasant pitchfork sell for. Ew. Okay, well, if anyone sees me. Okay. It's a man. That's an enforcer. He's suspicious, but he doesn't know I'm here. Delivers attack with a 100% chance to pull the target towards the attacker. It's also reach it too. Don't feel comfortable about fighting this guy right now. But he's going to come after me. If I were to go down, it wouldn't bother me too much because we haven't gained anything since we left the town. I'm willing to take him on in a 1v1 because I know fumbling exists. And this guy could bungle it bad. Obviously, fighting these two together would have been scary. But I'm willing to fight just him and hope that he misses me. Okay. Missed. Missed. And I got him. Okay. I'm light on my feet. I will be selling that. All right. Just hoping that I get something for maces soon because I really want to start pivoting towards maces. Technically, I could invest in, like, other stuff. That's still good for my character. Like, basic combat mastery. Athletics. Not athletics. I don't have anything. Make a halt. Allow you to craft a bedroll. Oh! Okay, so you can craft some stuff. And stops all bleeding. So you can cauterize wounds. I'll take, I'll learn that. Okay, that's two archers. So I'm gonna do a smart thing here. Force them to come to me. I'm behind a wall. I'm guessing they can't just shoot me through this. Meaning they're gonna have to turn a corner to hit me. Uh, which is when I will... Or they'll have to get really close. Yeah. Come on. Now, yeah, that's a tree, bud. Still a tree. That's your friend. And a tree. Still a tree, bud. It's a tree. Okay, that one has an angle now. Hmm. Am I prepared to close it? That guy has an angle. That guy's running. If I close on this guy, I have him. But they're gonna run from me. He fucked up. Yeah, I got him. Okay. 
Uh, I'm not going to immediately hunt down and kill him, the other guy. I'm gonna take their fucking bow, because I don't have any real skills in anything, because I haven't been taking anything. So I'm gonna use their fucking arrows. Where is this guy? This counts as cover. I'm gonna let this guy come to me. He actually shouldn't be able to see me around this corner. Don't know where he is. I think he might have lost me. I don't want to race after him into the base in case there's another guy still. You could do the same thing I did last time. Oh, he's running again. He's like two hits away from dying. If he's running, I'm going to tail him. Fucked up. Put himself between me and the fucking bush. Oh, that was, he fucked up big time. Pulled out his weapon. All right. Yeah, I got him. I feel like I'm handling this all pretty well. Though most of it's just translating from Kata. To be honest. Okay. Part of me wants to back up and save now. I'm gonna make sure I cleared this floor. Cause I know I I don't think I can fight like their leader. Yeah, I'm not going in there. Uh, I will loot out here. And then sell all their crap at the store. And then come back. I'm not I'm not gonna go in there yet. No way. Wow, arrows. I see arrows take up some inventory space, huh? I got a, I got a net now. Uh... There we go. Getting him to shoot his arrows into this fucking tree gave me three arrows. It's three shots I have on someone else. How much these clubs sell for? Hang on. Ooh, yep. Uh, boy. I'm gonna be coming back, is the thing. Okay, here's my logic. I'm not selling the net. I'm keeping that. Leave that right there, because we're going to double back. I'm just going to go to this. I'm going to go sell a bunch of crap at the merchant to try to make some more money. And these clubs sell for like, are going to sell for like 20 gold a piece. Yeah, we're going to go back with all that we have right now. Double back and grab that net. Keep fighting. All right. Come on. Time to roll. I'm having fun with this. All I can hope is that I find the Mace Trainer books soon. Because as I've been playing more of this, I've continued to just know that there's not a single weapon type in this game that I think is going to be able to keep up with maces. Just from... Just from the status effects in this game. I'm getting the feeling I won't be happy using anything else. I need that stun. I need the bonk weapons. But have you tried anything else? Listen here. All right. Bleed chance is useless uh, in a melee fight because you're fighting. I don't need to be a. I don't need to be an expert at this game to know that something bleeding something else in this game isn't gonna really fucking matter unless you're fighting some giant monster that is actually going to be a long fight because everyone dies in three or four hits. What good is bleed in that scenario? Cleavers, same thing. Bleed is all this bleed stuff. Doesn't really appeal to me. 
Uh, and when the stat tree is also telling me that that's the primary purpose of it is bleeding. Like mobility is cool. Yeah, having mobility is good for swords. But like of all of these weapons, the stuff that seems the most appealing is stuff like crowd control, positioning, weakening effects. Maces is crowd control and weakening effects and a 50% chance to daze on a crit. You crit a lot, especially if you're dual wielding. So if I'm dual wielding maces, okay, and I'm critting at double the chance, okay, then a lot of the time I'm going to be dazing them, and that fucks up their action economy. Mmm, and now, and now, look, I've played, I've played a lot of games like this, even though I haven't played this one, and just, I, like, I'm getting the, I'm seeing the writing on the wall. I'm seeing the writing on the wall on this. That. Feels like maces are going to be at least a thing I enjoy the most. Just for the fact that I can shut someone out of the game. Someone detects me. A guy? I'd fight a guy if they were out there. He's finding the meta. Well, the meta's probably magic. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, the meta is probably magic. Uh, I'm going to guess that much like any game with magic in it, where there's also melee weapons, uh, the meta is probably someone shooting a fireball at you. Uh, but I don't want to play the meta, to be honest. I'd rather play something stupid. God damn it. What? Dude, how much time is passing? Like, I, I was not gone all day. Was I gone all day? Hey, can I sell you stuff? Will you buy a candle? I'm gonna keep this rope. I might be able to use this. Guess I was gone all day. Those, sell this dog pelt. I mean, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna, I do need to save again. I don't want to, I didn't want to steal anything. I was trying to go upstairs. I'm sorry. Don't you kill that guy. Okay. Sleep till 6 a.m. I'm not going to drink out of my bottle. Then I'll forget to fill it. I honestly shouldn't have even eaten that meat. I would have filled up as much as I needed just walking back, eating berries. All right. Hopefully the merchants are out. Yes. I want to sell to you all these old weapons I found. Sixty-one, seventy-eight. It is officially time to swap these. Uh, what are you? Uh, the axe is still just worth having, obviously. Uh, okay. Sell that. Sell that, sell that. I'm also tempted just, I'm never gonna use a sword. Uh, we're gonna keep the bow and the arrows. I kinda want this. Like this is good for a fight. Okay. Looking good, made like 50 bucks off of that. Nice. People keep saying, I swear, I asked Chet when I was here last time if there was a mace merchant, and everyone said no. And then there are people that keep on coming in. I don't know if they're uninformed or what, but they keep on saying there is the person that trains maces. Uh, are they fools? Or was the majority of chat wrong? I'm inclined to believe the majority of chat. But people keep... People keep telling, people keep saying. The blacksmith trains him. So this guy right here. Can you teach me something? All right. 
I mean, I mean, what are the odds? I, I guess I did ask, so uh, I appreciate the folks that answered it accurately. You asked about books. Fuck you, dude. You and I both know what I was asking about. You didn't say, you didn't say you wanted training in maces. You said you wanted a mace training book. The monkey's paw curls. You didn't say you wanted that version. You said you wanted the book streamer. I was merely telling you exactly what you asked for and not one step beyond streamer. It's time. So let's see here. Attacks against stunned or staggered enemies uh, gain 20% weapon damage, 10% crit chance. That sounds awesome. Armor break delivers a strike with a 2% stagger chance. Armor penetration, armor damage of the enemy is dazed. It grants the strike 11% armor damage. And for each remaining turn of the days, if the enemy is stunned. So it looks like this is just the tree of fucking up someone that's already doomed, uh, which I like. That's it. That's definitely the best thing here. Uh, I should definitely take uh, dazing strikes. That's yeah. Double up on these two dazing strikes and uh, onslaught. Yep. Okay. Hey, do you sell? Tempted to buy this mace. Tempted to sell this axe and buy the mace. Now the axe is in such good condition, I'd put it on the offhand. Because the mace abilities are only technically one-hand weapons. So I'd move the axe here. Sell this. Buy the militia club. Mainly exclusively because it's in better condition... Yeah. Okay. Don't really want this thing to break. Okay. Uh, let's go back over there. I'm feeling a bit more confident now. A bit more confident. Purse is a little bit lighter and that's okay. You can repair stuff. No shit, bud. No fucking shit, bud. I know you guys think I'm dumb and don't know how games work, but yeah, I know. I would assume the immersive sim game would have repairing, what with it having durability and all. Doesn't change the fact that the fact of the matter I don't want my weapon breaking in the middle of combat! Get the fuck out of my face! Slap them again. I may! I may consider it! Dude, they all make a load at me. They all make a load at me. You dare to omega love at me when I'm? Oh my God! I did there's debuffs for it raining, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Is it raining even harder? While affected by three to four stacks of the effect, your metal equipment slowly degrades. Mmm. Mmm. 
Now that's, now that's a debuff. I've seen worse. In Cataclysm, when it rains, your character starts crying and shitting himself and sobbing, and then he can't do anything. He literally can't survive. So, um, I've seen worse. Hang on, does it go down if I'm under... No, okay. Well, we know where we're going. It's time. It's time. I remember when Acid Rain was a thing in CEDA. Who left these skin suits out? Okay, if this sucks, so be it. Time to set this up. Oh, do I not actually need to set it up as... Oh, you can just right-click and throw it. I thought I had to make a whole other loadout for it. Well, there's some space going forward for that, at least. At least I can get out of the rain. I'm going to rest right here at the door for a minute. Try to dry off a tiny bit to get rid of some of my 5% uh, extra chance to fucking fumble. Get that back down a stack. I don't want to, I don't want to fight anyone dangerous. Well, I'm fucking at risk of fumbling. So we're gonna try to get that down to 100. Only 5%. Just 5%. You people are fools, and that's why you'd never make it 10 seconds out here. Not even 10 seconds would you make it out here. You and I are not alike. You're nothing like me. Nothing. All right, fumble's gone. Let's go. Well, Enforcer becomes alarmed. So we got one guy coming? Hello, want to come my way? We'll take all that you have. You just light yourself on fire by stepping on a pressure plate? Sir? Let's see, so that's six stacks of burning. Sir? <laughs> Sir? Sir? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Dude, this place is crazy. That also reminded me there are traps in this dungeon. I'm very good. <laughs> don't even, I don't even want it. Well, I'm gonna do the responsible thing. <clears throat> hey! <clears throat> hey! <clears throat> hey! <clears throat> hey! No one. Check for traps. <clears throat> I don't want to go anywhere, dude. So that's disarmed. Not doing anything now. Oh, chat, because I was on top of it, I took a swing at it, and I thought that I fucking actually got hit back by the barrel. Is what I believed for a minute. I truly thought the barrel had taken a swing at me. <clears throat> yeah, not seeing anything. Ah, hello. What are you? A goon? Wait, a default goon? In this day and age? Follow me back to my office, sir. Thanks, thank you. Drink some water. Yeah, follow me back to my office, sir. Where I kept- where your friend is. Your dying friend. Thanks for coming. Oh! 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 All right. Hello. I see you've come as well to my office. 
Come in. Come in. Who are you? Another goon. Get on the pile. <laughs> He's now dazed. Chat, this is what. This is why I want to do mace. He now has 25% less resistance to the exact things I'm applying to him by default. He also has a 10% chance, chance to have half damage and a 10% chance uh, to extra chance to miss. It's really strong by the looks of things. But you can also just perfectly dodge. But now he is stunned instead, which of course means he has a minus 100,000 million percent chance for everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and... All right. Is that another guy? Can you just fucking shoot at me? Okay. I'm gonna go. I think he's dumb enough to fall for it. Surely he's not dumb enough to fall for this. Surely he won't fall for it. Because I'm not gonna... I'm willing to go in there and get him once I have full health. I also am surprised so many enemies have flocked to that door to check on the fucking screams. I was expecting like one or two. It's been everyone in the building. Give myself one last replenish. So every eight turns I heal. All right, well. Hello. Yeah, you better pray to fucking God you got a good aim. Did you just come towards me, Mr. Poacher? I daze him. I kill him. All right. I'm gonna go hang out outside and get my energy back. All right. I might actually go outside and look for berries in the woods. <laughs> you guys all wait right there. I'm berries to eat hungry. That's the thing though, when you want berries, you're never gonna find berries. That's how this place works. I will find morels. Which are kinda the same thing. Oh no, that's a bad morel. I don't want anything that's gonna make me intoxicated. eat a thousand of these and I'll be good to go. I do admit my food. Honestly, I probably have a higher chance of getting food. Right now, this debuff is nothing. But I probably should take a closer look at my inventory for, like, food and water going forward, because I definitely dropped the ball on that. I dropped the ball on this one. But I don't really want to go back yet. Is it... Mm. The axe is... You know... Mm. Axe is more damage, but like... Stacking more days chance on our character is insane. And dual, do, having it... Having more on the dual wield flurry is wild. That's a hard decision. Someone also re-armed this trap. By the looks of it. Well. I wonder where most of these guys filed in from. Hello. See, here's the thing that you're not gonna like. I'm gonna make you walk all the way here, bud. Come here. Yeah, come here. And walk all the way up into full melee with me, please. Thank you. You're gonna fuck- Dude, it's a pull! You can open it from your side! Alright, yeah, burn all your energy, dude. Use your special ability, too. On the door. Okay. Are you fucking stupid? Okay. 
You think he'll fall for this one? Surely he doesn't fall for this one. No way. Oh, it is disarmed. Anyways. Good, nice fucking dodge, dude. What the fuck? Okay. We ride on. We ride on. Hang on. Trap check. This room's clear. Herbal extract. We like that. Not seeing anything else in here. It's a ghost town. Which means all those other guys filed in from the other part of the map. Unless this place is fucking empty. There's some gold. Some stuff in the chest. A funny hat. Which will objectively be better than I think the one I'm currently wearing. And in the wardrobe is nothing. And here we have a, a goon. A common goon. I'm going to, while I believe there may be someone else in there, I like my odds more of squeezing, of, you know, not letting them all pour out. I'd rather squeeze them into this hole. Uh, so I'm going to close on them. Okay, I missed with the stun. Wow. Chat, the thing is, okay, here's what I'm noticing with my character's mace. It seems that I've landed a stun or a daze every single time. Every time I've done like a two weapon attack, I've hit with a double and debuffed. That's what I'm talking about. That's that's why I feel like I should add the other mace. Just add even more to it. Cause that shit stacks. Oh. Oh. Sounds fake. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Sounds like a bunch of made up bullshit, bro. Well, here we go. Anyone in there? This place is a ghost down here. Traps. That's a whole cabbage! <laughs> By God! We're saved! We're saved! We're gonna live! We're gonna live! That's a whole cabbage! And an onion! A whole cabbage and an onion! And a barrel to collect water from! We can live here a thousand years before we have to do anything about it. See, what sucks is I know I'm, I feel like I'm going towards where the leader is, but I don't want to enemy. I don't want to fight the leader. I'm gonna fight an enemy. I don't really want to fight the leader. I'm actually gonna use the Okay, apparently I fucked up the order, but somehow he didn't decide to do his range. So I'm gonna capitalize by stunning him and beating the shit out of him. Now he's full stunned. Brute. This guy's using my build. Why does this door never close when I press the close button? Don't open that! Stop! It's too bad I don't know where there are any traps. Mace versus mace. I don't think I'm gonna engage him yet. I think I have a I think I'm gonna use my my uh, net and then run away on this guy. Yeah, that's right. You have a good day. 
Okay, he broke out of that fast. Mm, let's see. Mighty kick. Armor break. I'm not really wearing armor. And onslaught. He has the same thing I have. Which means basically it's who stuns the other one first. If we fight. I'd rather not. To be honest. Uh, and the net broke so fast. What could I use to give myself an edge? Oh, he got confused because he's an idiot guy. All right, bye. Get ev get evaded, man. I'd like to kite him somewhere um, with a trap. I want to loot all the bodies over there, though. We could make a bunch more money if we sold all these bodies. Like, all this stuff on them. Not the bodies themselves. I don't think anyone wants to buy those. Maybe like a, I don't know, necromancer. I saw a question mark down there. Take whoever's down here, as long as the other guy doesn't- as long as the huge man doesn't get involved. If the huge man gets involved, it's over. And honestly, it would be my overconfidence that killed me. Ooh! Two-handed axes trees. I'll read it. I'll read it. Because it's plus 50 XP to read it, and now I can technically sell it. For 150 bucks. This is locked. Hello? Enforcer. He doesn't know I'm here. How do you figure that's possible? Dude, how did you not know I broke in here? Alright. He blocked a lot of my moves right there. Holy heck. That guy was good. Anyways. I heard something. I heard a sound. I heard a sound I don't much like hearing. Alright. I'm gonna use some healing salves on my hands. My horrible hands. Cause they're injured. I'm gonna rest and get some more energy back. I heard a noise. Someone was around. Lurking in the area. Lurking, creeping around. It may have been him. The big guy. Ooh. Penny bun. I don't know if you can eat that. You can. I'm eating it. I'm also gonna eat these onions. Hello. See, I'm just trying to get some more XP before I fight that guy. I feel like if I was level three, I'd be fine fighting big guy. Okay. Nope. Here, friend. I don't really want to spend my abilities on him. I get this guy to waste all of his abilities on a door. It'll buy me some time to heal. If I don't move, they don't like opening the doors. Okay. I'm pretty low on health. Nice, he missed it. Alright, he doesn't have any more ranged moves. I stunned him. Double stunned him. Because I get a response on the second hit. Okay. Yeah, he's done. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's heal. We're doing well. Stuff's going well. Let's eat some more cabbage. Matter of fact, let's finish the cabbage. We earned it. Getting close to leveling up. One or two more kills and we will level. Oh, 
God knows where that bandit king is or whatever. I mean, this place is all locked. I'm not really sure which way is actually progression and which way is, you know, not. No one heard that. No, I didn't want to walk onto it, but I might be able to use that on the big guy. We now know where there's a trap to get rid of someone if we need to. There's no one here. Is there another trap? It's a dead end. All right, we have a way to dispose of the big man now. Technically. How much else out here, though? Straw. I don't want straw. That is a unidentified crossbow. I mean, I'm not about to equip a crossbow. We also have some stardust, which is good for like magic. We're gonna sell it because we don't we don't believe in that stuff. I don't trust that shit. Not about that. I guess I'm gonna try to kite huge man over to the thing. It's either that or we fight him one on one. Hey, Bozo! Remember me? I see you're actively stuck at that wall still. And don't actually know how to- There he goes. He fucking tricked me, asshole. Please don't chase me. Stop. Am I slightly faster than him? I think I'm slightly faster than him. Stop! Oh, that pillar was a fuck up. But then he fucked up. Close again. Wait, and he fucked up. Stop! 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 Stop chasing me! Please don't do it! Buh. You're not as dumb as you look, you know that? Yep. That was a smart play, you big bastard. That was a smart play, Crack's neck. But I'm gonna let you know something. All right. You better pray to God, all right, that you hit that stun before I hit my stun. Because you're gonna have to close the gap on me. I'm not moving from this corner like a cornered animal. All right. I'm gonna take it out. Fuck! He dodged. Oh! Oh! Ugh. I'm gonna be honest. I should have seen that he might dodge. He might know what's going on with the trap. I might. I should have seen that coming. That he may know, but I don't think anyone was ready for um. A pain I've experienced many times, which is why it doesn't hurt me that bad. Uh, which is the pain of your character statistically should be able to do this. And then my guy, I believe, missed every single attack. Uh, he missed every single attack. And the one attack he did hit, he fumbled. And then he died. Uh, which is a, that's a, that's a fast way. That's, that's the, the RNG stepped in. Um, responsibly, what I should have done was leave in that scenario. I did not. I did not leave. I stood my ground and I made myself a fool. All right. But I do believe I will play this game again. However, I think now I'm at the point after having checked it out and frankly quite enjoyed it. Uh, I might play it a little bit on my own and uh, get a little deeper in and figure out 
what I what's really going on underneath the hood cuz uh I think that would benefit this stream if I knew what what was going on a little bit more deeply. But yeah, I think uh I think we'll definitely do another session of this probably not this week, but uh at some point I will be back however tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST for another stream. So thank you for watching and coming on by. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, if you gifted subs are donated, thanks. I will see you all next time. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. ish. Thanks for coming on by. See you later.